For the past two years, I've committed atrocious acts that some would not even dare to believe. I've committed mass genocide, lied to people that trusted me, and I, I convinced my greatest friends to ban themselves on the server, leaving me as a sole survivor. And all of this happened on a server known as the Lifesteal SMP. Give me one last chance to redeem myself. Why don't you fight with us? We're not gonna fight. We are Lifesteal. We're Lifesteal. We are Lifesteal. We are lifesteal. <laughs> but for those that truly want to know my tale, we have to go all the way back to 2021, when I got a random Discord message from a YouTuber named Parrot inviting me to the server. I'll admit, the server didn't look like any other I've ever been on, but man do they get views. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It makes Hermitcraft look irrelevant. And so I accepted the invite, logging on to the server for the first time. Lifesteal season 3 has begun. <laughs> <laughs> the plan was simple, become those powerful person on the server so that everyone had to bow down to me, obviously. I mean, I am a businessman after all. The problem is, I literally had no reputation. I was one of the new guys. I had to prove my worthiness and reputation for the others. First thing I did was grab an axe, tail the local civilians, and rob them. Straight at axe point. I feel like you better hand some stuff over, some goodies. Hmm? Uh, 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 wood? Okay, so the cost-benefit analysis deemed robbing fresh spawns kinda not worth it. At all. I mean, everyone out here was already mining for diamonds while I was scraping wood planks from peasants. I couldn't let that happen, I gotta catch up! So after a while, I decided to get into voice chat with a guy called Mapic and met up with him at a village to get stuff. Hello. Oh, look, hey, Red. But across the village, we realized there was three or four people gearing up collectively and were teaming to kill fresh spawns who had nothing on them. So basically, I was a prime target. Because I didn't want to die, we decided to leave before it was too late. And while on our travels, we had a minor setback. I got, I got poison. Come bite it for me. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I landed oh. on dripstone. Oh, That's so unlucky. Bruh. Not even close. After respawning, Mapic noticed something different about the group from earlier. Apparently, they had grown in numbers. In fact, they basically doubled, if not tripled, in size. And on top of that, they had been taken over by Ashwag, who at some point commanded them to hunt down their former ally, Rekrap, and kill him. You want to be main characters or not? He's behind me. He was chasing me. He was clearly. Oh, and they became communists. Start one, yeah. Communism on top. Oh god, they are <laughs> spreading. The communists. Uh, Alright, I messaged oh, Rodebeezy. Like That's right, Life Steel Season 3 saw the rise of the proletariats. Since I'm a good Samaritan, I knew I had to stop this communist threat from taking over Life Steel SMP. I mean, what, what else was I gonna do? Let communism take over? Let everyone have an equal share in the profits? Nonsense! I get all the profits. So I decided to form the Great Business Alliance. The problem is, I didn't have any friends, so I had to go around bribing a bunch of stragglers to join my coalition to fight the communists. And after a bit of preparing, we were ready to attack. You guys had a different village? Oh, different Probably. Village. Oh no, you no, guys no, are no, 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 here. Oh, they have clown too. Oh fuck, oh fuck, run, run. Oh, no, no, run. run! Where the fuck <laughs> is the boat? Okay, so tiny recap. We were on our way to attack the communists when randomly, we got ambushed by another team composed of Clown Pierce, Parrot, Recrap, Rochambeau, and Spoke. Otherwise known as the Clout Team. But I mean, even against great odds and like the most plot armor based team on the server, we still decided to attack. I mean, after all, hearts are hearts. Why is it being chased by Red Crab and fucking oh, uh, Rochette? No. <laughs> oh no. What? That's, that's you, you don't Dude, I'm yeah, really yeah, next to yeah, fucking yeah, board. Yeah, Where yeah. the oh. fuck are you? Spunk's here as well. Spunk's here as well. Ah! Yeah. Oh shit. Find a kill. Oh, oh, thank god. Got him, got him. Thank god. Oh, that's nice. Vortex. Okay, thank god. Vortex, Vortex, Vortex. Let's uh, get him. I can't take this, bro. Clown you can't take this? Okay, fuck it. We run. Vortex, we run. He's burning, he's burning. Close low. Yeah. I'm stuck. I was gonna ask. Get him, Let's go! Yeah! Don't wait! I'm just fighting with the guy who grabbed and I went into a lake. Right here, right here! Vortex, where are you? Vortex, where are you? I found Red Crap. Oh my god, there's like four of them. That's fine. I see him. I see him. I'm here, right here, right here. I'm here, I'm here. Vortex, we're here. Bro is done for. Bro is done for. Oh god. Yes! Let's go! Get him, Red Crap. Get him, Red Crap. Get him, Red Crap. Oh, he's no, going, going to the portal. portal. He's going oh. to the portal. With Clown Pierce escaping to the nether, we decided not to pursue them since we were thinking we may be walking into a trap. Turns out, we were right. Later on, I figured out the rest of their team was waiting on the other side with bed bombs preparing to kill us. With us waiting on the other side, they decided to leave seeking refuge in the nether. Not gonna lie, didn't think we were gonna win that, but easy dump. We already took down the most clouded team on the server. <laughs> So with our victory, we decided to split the spoils of war evenly amongst ourselves. But Red, doesn't that sound like communist? Shh. 
Just don't worry about it. We also end up claiming the spawn village, naming it Capital City after the capitalist victory there. But I wasn't finished. No, I still had a mission to gain even more power. We, we just mm -hmm. had quite a successful little battle there, you know? The Great Business Alliance actually popped up, you know? We killed communism. Yep. Funny <laughs> enough, we didn't actually kill the communists. We just randomly, on oh. our way to kill the communists, we encountered Clown Pierce, Wreck Rap, Parrot, and killed those guys instead. In fact, But now the communists are scared of us. They weren't even online when this happened. They didn't even witness it, no. You know? There's something that I want that you guys have, you know, and that that, oh. that is that is hearts. This is this? Oh, hearts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Not this. Wow, that was easy. Oh wow, that was actually wow. hard. Well, I'm a great businessman. What can I say? There's another man I want to take hearts from, but not not through gentle business ventures. Okay? Sam, mind. Sam, Sam, listen to this. Really, mm -hmm. you as well. Mm -hmm. A crusade. A crusade. A crusade. Mm -hmm. You know, there were multiple crusades before they that. got their goal. Exactly. Well, usually they got their goal from the Pope. We need a new Pope. We need a new Pope. I'll be your Redoons. new Pope. Redoons. Shut the Redoons. fuck up, Vitalisy. Redoons. Where's Vitalisy? Where did he come from? <laughs> oh. Redoons. You, you know are what? the Pope. You know what? I don't. I, I wouldn't pope. mind being the Pope. This is going all according to plan. I can lead you guys down the right path. You know, I, I, I won't. I'm so glad you brought this and you know, to us. And you know, the greatest you. part. I'm not gonna give you the commandments. I'm just gonna tell you what to do. What? That's so good. This is you, you, you don't have to remember oh. anything. You just gotta listen to me. It's perfect. Oh. It's oh. a win win opportunity. You don't need great. to read this a Bible. Great. I am the Bible. I am the physical embodiment. I am the right. Bible. And so, I somehow became the Pope of my very own faith. I mean, I wasn't even sure how it happened, but my worshippers were already building me a chapel. <laughs> I've done my prayers. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, I had to say Radoons a lot more than all of you guys because I've committed some terrible, terrible sins. <laughs> uh, yeah, you did. But even with grand victory becoming the centerpiece of a new faith, I still wasn't satisfied. You see, during the fight, I actually never got to kill anyone. While I was comboing Rochambeau, Zam shot him right before I got the killing blow, stealing my kill. But right, it was a team effort, I mean, it doesn't really matter who got the kill. Wrong. No, it does matter. You see, in life, still SMP, when you kill someone, you steal their heart, and I wanted it. And thus, my thirst for blood was still not quenched, so it was time to look for another victim. I mean, an obvious choice was Ashweg. I mean, Ashweg was the leader of the Communist Party, and killing him would be a blow to their morale. However, attacking Ashweg while surrounded by his minions would be a suicide mission. It was impossible. So I had to devise a plan to lure him out. But that required me to make deals with another group. The People of Pog. Okay, don't laugh. The people of Pong were basically the embodiment of your neighborhood night patrol or the wannabe cops on the server. I mean, all they wanted to do was make sure nobody killed anyone else and then, I don't know, kill people themselves. But considering they were speedrunning the game for the first 24 hours, I knew they had no prior conflicts. So they were a perfect accomplice. So I went over to their base to greet them and this was the first thing that happened. Hey, Reddins, Reddins, Reddins. I got a, I got a secret gift. This is something from my stash. My personal collection. <laughs> <laughs> a pot. Weed. <gasps> wow. I didn't need anything. Oh, I shall take one of the pot and I shall take <laughs> one of the weed. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure these aren't the most morally obligated cops out there. But hey, that works out for me. Considering they were a bit crooked, I decided to bribe them, requesting they message Ashwag to meet them at their base for something urgent. And to my disbelief, he actually showed up. Hello? Hi, Ashwag. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Oh, what's going on? Hello. Uh, we wanted to show you our epic base. You wanted it? Base, of course. <laughs> Pretty dope, actually. Mm. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll come meet you guys at spawn right now. We have. Okay, um, am I gonna? Am I gonna lose hearts? Legit? I, I'm not gonna kill you. No. Okay. Well, someone else is gonna kill me though. Okay. Considering I was sitting in the voice call with them, Ashwag was kind of suspicious of the entire situation. But to be fair, he was already on top of the mountain. There wasn't much he could do. And then that's when Leo Wook said this. Sometimes uh, the pog takes a blind eye. What? That is the last <laughs> sentence you want to hear. <laughs> Who would have seen uh, this coming? <laughs> oh no. The faster you let me kill you, the faster I can get on with the video, man. Dude, I'm not gonna let you kill me, dude. But I <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> that is not happening. Oh no. We want to show you our base. The pog takes a blind eye. What the fuck were you thinking? What were you thinking? Oh no. Although Ashwag was running away, it didn't really matter. You see, there's a rule in Life Steel SMP that you cannot combat log under any circumstance. So the two ways this was gonna end is either him dying or me giving up the chase. But that wasn't gonna happen. I had hours, but he didn't. So instead of making this take hours, I offered Ashwig a little deal. If he accepts his fate and let me kill him, I would allow him to retrieve his heart and stuff. However, he would owe me a little favor in the future. He accepted the deal, and so with that... Okay, fine. Whatever. 
After multiple tribulations, it was time for me to depart from spawn for a while. For you see, I didn't even have a base, man. It, it was it was kind of sad. So I decided to um, try to go and make one. Eventually, I came by a peaceful village to settle down in. As I slowly began building up my gear and base of operations for the rest of the season. But only days later, as I was doing some simple mining while on a call with my bestest friends, talk about a road trip to Disneyland. That's a true story, by the way. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. Something unexpected happened. Go for it. No. Go. Go, no, go, 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 go. What the hell? Bruh. Now you may be asking, why the heck am I getting jumped in my home? I wanted the same thing until I realized these guys are comrades to none other than Ashway. Who I, uh, coincidentally killed a few days ago on the launch of the server. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, tur turns out this isn't an ambush. It's a revenge arc. But, but, but still kind of an ambush. Either way, th it, it ain't good. Knowing I was outgeared, outnumbered, and no match for their plot armor, I decided to dip. Bruh, that was stressful. Oh. You guys have no idea what just happened. <laughs> so it seems my attackers weren't so glad that I got away. In fact, they, they were so pissed they decided to go and find my teammates, Zam and Mapic, hoping they could get a kill from them. But that didn't go too well. Bro! I thought it would end there, but no. Next day, I logged onto the server to this. My village destroyed. So for some reason, these bozos thought they could kill me, rob me, and then grief my base. Bruh, had my domination on day one proved nothing? Once again, it was time to return to spawn and prove to the common folk that I was not a force to be reckoned with. First target was Minecraft Curious as he was a fresh spawn that just logged in for the first time, meaning he was an easy target. And I mean, what better way to show everyone how cool I am than to make a video of me killing a famous person? But I was too late. It seems that Zam had the same exact idea. Okay, that was a bit disappointing, but I mean, Zam is kind of famous, so... I'm oh, sorry, no! Zam. Okay, no hard feelings, but I just needed the heart. You know what? I feel like now is a perfect time to ask you to subscribe in the middle of the conflict. Y'all should press the subscribe button. Come on, you know, you want to do it. I may be a bit desperate at this point, but whatever. Back to killing Spectacle. Hold on, Spep, where you go? I gotta kill you real quick. I don't want to die again. It seemed that my tour regaining influence had worked. I was finally feared again. Everything was going according to plan, and of course... My computer decided to break. In reality, I'm pretty sure what happened is I accidentally clicked the wrong button while installing Optifine for replay shots. And, you know, it downloaded a Trojan horse. But we don't talk about that. That's just a minor thing. It was at that point I was contacted by Vitalcy asking him to meet for a peace meeting. Pretty convenient timing for him. I mean, after all, my, my computer just broke. I was moving. Then I had my setup. So after spending more money than I'd like to admit on one day shipping for new parts, I had to assemble a temporary tactical setup in my mother's closet. I'm not even kidding. Here's a picture. But I mean, I was gonna need PvP for the meeting, right? Hey guys, I don't need PvP, right? It's lifesteal. Anything could happen. Bruh. Oh my god. <gasps> yeah, not gonna lie. I kind of saw that coming. But at this point, it was kind of too late. I mean, what was I gonna do? Tell them to stop? Rain check? No, I can't do that. You know, at this point, I just had to fight to the bitter end. Zam, let's jump him. I just killed him, man. Oh, goodness. I don't have... I need an axe. I need an axe. Oh, go, go in, go in, go in. Rick, 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 Rick. Where, where are you? Come on, come on, we got but this. They're guy! Come to the service, come to the service, come to the service, Rex! See, the come problem on, is right now that I'm getting 2v1. Damn, I need support! Rex! Damn! Rex! No! Oh, there's your shield, Sam! Red, where'd you go? Dude, I'm getting jumped by two guys, man. I just wanted to work on my house! How this many so hearts do you have? Okay, 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 okay. Why did you have so many signs? I <laughs> no! They tried to kill me. Oh. They weren't. Uh, what even happened to you guys? How did you, what, what happened? Bruh. No. I had lost. Considering there was no honor here, I vowed in that very moment that I'd get revenge on their revenge. I had to get revenge in a way that was memorable. And that's when it hit me. The end fight. The end was opening up in a few days and everyone was going for the dragon egg. On this SMP, whoever has the dragon egg holds the title as being the most powerful group. But then again, I don't really care about that. What I did care about was that my and subs were making plans to retrieve the egg. And this time, they had a whole army with them. There was, however, one other contender. The morning of the event, I got a message from my rival, Clown Pierce, asking to meet him at spawn for a rather interesting proposal. Look, this is a sign of peace, all right? I will pick it up. As a sign of accepting your surrender. All right. <laughs> All right so, so Red, that, that might have been uh, a bit of a bad, bad start to this conversation because mm. Parrot has asked me to recruit you. All right. Don't you guys have like a bunch of people already? We have a few, but as it stands right now, we're looking to be about three versus ten. 
With the limit on resources, I just don't think we're winning that fight without another person. Being asked by my enemy to join them seemed kind of sketch. I mean, for all I know, I could be walking into a trap for what happened on day one. So I, I asked, what's in it for me? What, what am I getting out of this? I'm seeing me ha having to carry you guys, but I'm not seeing me benefit. All right, so all right. No, don't don't get ahead of yourself there, buddy. You've got resources. I'll give you that. I do. You're I do. good mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. How about this? We'll see how much you can carry us. Yeah. Because every kill you make on the enemy team, yeah. every heart you gain, you'll keep them. <gasps> and, it's all me. Right. Uh, right. Good. Let's, let's shake on it. Perfect. And with only 20 minutes left before the end opening, we gathered our gear and went to the stronghold. And before we knew it, it was time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. People are going in. It's go, 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 go. They're all here. They're all here. They're invis too. Watch out for their bow. Oh, oh, okay. they're aiming their bow. Right. They're aiming right, their they're bow. They're shooting. Fire okay. Right. okay, let's focus one right, person. Boys. Here we go, boys. Let's let's target these guys. Got him with you. Did you chase them out? Oh, oh, bro. oh, 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 oh. Let me get out of your way. Let me get out of your way. That bow can like three shot me. Oh, yo, oh, yo, yo, yo. You guys left. Come on, we need to meet. We need to back up. Subs is subs is down. Or no, not not down. But oh shit. Hurting. Dragon. Okay, that was close. Brandy. That was close. Uh, can I get some help here? Yeah, yeah. I'm. I got. I got Vitality well, like, low. Good, I got them low. low. I got them low. low. Good, get Vitality. I'm going for Brancy. They're low. They're low. They're pearly. I got Brancy. Yes. Help, help me. Help me get Vitality. You just took health bot. You took health bot. I'm going to help Parrot. Oh, I'm clapping whoever this is up. Nice, they're nice. low. They're low. They're okay, low. go go. They gapped. Guys, we win these, bro. Oh. Uh, we can't do anything. There's someone on our. Image guy. There's someone on our backs. I'm, I'm flanking right. Vitalis. Nope. I remember subs from the fire. Okay, sorry, I got a gap he's again. He's very far away. He's out nice, nice. Kill box, kill box. Oh, sorry, Red, sorry. Oh, Vitalis. He... Oh, my bad. Red, I hit you. My bad, my bad, my bad. Vitalis is okay. going up. Vitalis is going, going up. I'm bowing. Guys, I'm getting 2v1. Oh, shoot. There's an Enderman on me. Oh, where? 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 I don't know. Red behind you. There's an Enderman okay. behind you. Wait, wait, what? Go for subs. 2v1, you guys are leaving Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Go to middle. Go to the middle. We're on subs. We're on subs. He wants to punch bro. bro, I need help. I'm getting Where are you? Go right to the middle. Now, go to the middle. Oh, bro, I got weakness. Bro. We made a crucial mistake. The enemies had made a bunch of weakness and poison potions to use against us in the fight. Not only would this give us passive damage, but it also rendered our diamond swords as weak as stone tools. But we had a plan. If we fought in intervals of two, it would be a lot hard for them to pick us off. We could just wait for the pots to lose its effect. Subs is low. Oh, he's really Where's low. Guys, he's so low. He's, no, he's, he's, down, low. he's down. He's down. low. He's low. Yeah. He's got them. He's oh, he took a health pot again. Oh, they have like a lot of pots. Oh, nice! nice. Let's go! Oh, GG! Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> Dude, At this point, the fight was basically over. We had already killed one of them, and the rest began to flee. However, we weren't going to let them escape. We had to kill every single one of them. Vortex and Pangy dug down, hoping to hide until the battle was over. But funny enough, we prepared for this. Basically, the tablet shows everyone who's on the server. But did you know it only shows a skin's second layer if you're within a certain distance? Meaning, if we found the edges on both axes, we'd actually be able to find exactly where they were. There's no way. There's no way. I'm dead. I'm I'm so dead. They yeah, they mined right into me. Oh yeah, he is so dead, dude. Bye, Vortex. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Freaking go. Oh, we had won. With Vitality escaping and the rest slaughtered, we had conquered the end. After the celebratory group screening, the Dragon Egg was passed around to all the members for an achievement. Hoping I'd gain the trust of my former rivals, I asked if I could hold him. Yeah, actually, yeah, we, we trust him a lot. We trust him. And they actually let me hold it. I'm gonna be honest, I was not expecting that. I was planning on stealing the egg. But considering the most powerful team now trusted me, I decided to play the long game and wait for a better time. But don't worry, the egg will be mine. And after the battle, I felt nothing. I'd gone home and realized my base was now a desolate wasteland. It's true what they say. Revenge ends in nothing but grief. So why make it end? I killed them once, I could do it again. That's right. I'm milking this revenge plot even more. Hey, Pang, you want to kill Vitality and subs? Way ahead of you. So, uh, you wanted to, you know, be part of this, right? Be part of what? Um, about the killing. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about killing someone, right? So right. is this a trap? This is my trap, actually. Yeah, follow me. <laughs> you know, really I think the trap, perfect way to set this up is a business meeting with I... the rivals to finally mm -hmm. end the quote-unquote war between our two factions. But instead, oh, you get it. we end the war, but in another way. Yeah, like we kill them all. Uh, yeah, so that's what I meant. Thinking. And the plan was pretty simple. Arrange the meeting, have them pull a switch, and then BAM! TNT minecarts blow them into smithereens.
In my previous video, I explained that right before I killed Ashwag, I offered him a deal that he could get his heart and stuff back in return for a favor to be called upon in the future. And it was about time I called in that little favor. Hey Ash, are you fine luring your teammates to certain doom? Sure, why not? Ash, you got him? Listen, listen, I've got them at the piano and spawn. I'm leaving it up to you guys, but if anyone asks, I, I didn't do this. I'm just repaying. Uh, it's just for the favor. Okay, listen, let's go. Nah, let's nah, get nah. these guys. Let's go. I, I wasn't here. Right. I was not here. All right, boys. There you have them. All right, they're right here. Uh, so, long story short, we have a business meeting with y'all. Now, right now. Welcome, guys. Uh, yes. Sup, my telesy. Welcome here. Uh, Hi. This is the Hi. office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you may see, like this is where I do all my business. But yeah, speaking so of business, am. we got business for you. It's true. Yeah. What a transition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We we got we got some gear for you guys. Some very yeah, good gear, do. you know. Yeah, uh, see this gear? Oh, of course, right, of course. Follow me. Follow me. You see, you we see, may or may not have made a vault over there. But make sure not to shoot the button. Whatever you do, do not yeah. shoot the button. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just feel free to. Open the door. This is this is where. You, hold on, hold on. Just stand still for like a second. Don't mind me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Vitality. Get him, creepers. Get him. No, 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 no. I actually didn't mean to jump in here. Get him. Ow. We're doing. Now that's what we call business. And that was it. The business communist war was finally put to an end. Honestly, looking back, the fact that Subs and Vitality just kind of stood there proved that they were just as tired of this conflict as we were. We all just kind of wanted it over. And so with us exchanging some hearts to balance them back to 10, peace was finally brokered between our two groups. You may say that giving away two hearts was a terrible move on my behalf, but little did everyone know that I had a plan for reimbursements. For you see, the other day I dared Prince Zam to kill the fourth player on the tablist. Little did he know, that was himself. However, how he reacted was a bit unexpected. Should I off myself? No, do not no. do it. Zam, I need go, you boys. in the to come. Here oh, we no. go. <laughs> <laughs> we have a 13. So, it seems that Zam may have just discovered a tiny flaw in the server's mechanics. You see, the server gives you a free heart if you kill someone else, and if you die, you lose one. But, what does it do if, you know, hypothetically, kill yourself? Answer, you get a free heart. I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of the heart. Zam, Zam, don't, Zam, don't get I rid of it. Refuse. Zam, if you can't no. have the heart, no one can. If I oh can't have the heart, no one can. But, but why were we fighting over a single heart? We had the capability to make literally infinitely more. And I had the perfect idea how to use them. A while back, the server had a massive end fight for the Dragon Egg, and I was on the winning side as a wild card. But the most powerful group on the server, known as the Cloud Team, decided to give the egg to Clown Pierce, my arch nemesis. But that wasn't gonna last for long. I mean, I wanted the egg. I knew taking on an entire team by myself would be impossible. And so my teammate and I got to work to pull off the hard exploit ourselves. After all, how many can say that they have exploited on the Life Steel SMP? Well, I mean, flash forward to 2023, yeah, like basically everyone can, but back in my day, it was considered cool, okay? But the problem is, Zam just messaged the owner and snitched about the exploit, meaning it was only a matter of time before it was patched. And if Parrot logged on and caught us using the exploit, we would get banned. But luckily, Parrot's bedtime was at 10 p.m. It's already 11, so we practically had a whole day to use it before he could stop us. So I need to kill myself a lot. But if Clumpers was on the server and began seeing a bunch of Radoons killing Radoons messages, he would probably get a bit suspicious. So I quickly devised a plan to get him off the server at least for a few days. Hey, clown. I dare you to take over this SMP. <laughs> so of course, I took the bet and got to work right away. Wait, he fell for that? Well, time to get to work. So the simplest way to get credit for killing oneself in Minecraft is by shooting an arrow straight up in the sky and waiting for it to fall. But obviously I wasn't just gonna do that to myself until I was complete certain that it worked. So I asked another player to do it, and turns out, it works. And we can literally produce a new heart in as little as 30 seconds. But Zam was on to us. I mean, literally like 30 seconds later, he logged back on and said this. Guys, you can't just be exploiting. That's not fair. It seemed I was left with an ultimatum. Was I really going to achieve immortality at the expense of all my friends? Well, yeah, obviously. Cue the death montage. <laughs>
Okay, dying is kind of boring, so we stopped after 20 hearts, but luckily that was enough for us. And good news is, I knew exactly what to do with them. I'm building a heart bank. But then eventually, Prince Zam once again logged on and I needed to show him our little project. Welcome to the heart bank. Why? Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, Zam, please understand. It's a tax write off. You know what Hello. else is a tax write off? This bitch. Yeah. Oh, no, I know, but I'm just like, I don't have a I'm shield dead. or I'm any. Dead. Wow. After getting rid of that minor inconvenience, we finished up construction, and about an hour later, the heart bank was open for business. What's going on? Oh, give me hearts. This is, I need some hearts. All the right. heart bank is famed for having hearts, and I require them. All right. Uh, g give me the stuff. Oh my god, you're like teleporting all over the place. All right, let's just make this trade fast, because there's someone that's kind of spooking me out. What? All right. All right, all right, I'm just gonna get out of here. But, <laughs> oh, this is real. Oh my god. All right, all right. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Okay, listen, man. Do, do you have this stuff? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hand them. Okay. Hand them over. Let me it's, Let me see the totems. I trust you. I trust, <gasps> you. I trust me oh, too. Oh, 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 look at that. We're making bank. And of course, we now had another problem. For the past hour, Zam spammed Parrot's DMs until he got on and patched the exploit. And just to make sure we couldn't use them, he changed the hearts from being a firework star to another star. Meaning our 20 fake hearts were completely useless but luckily that wasn't gonna stop us because i discovered a way around that if we had just discovered that hearts had just changed right now odds are barely anyone knew about that meaning um uh, busy right now no don't mind me oh okay uh, okay okay fine 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 fine, fine. Uh, what's up with this heart why does it not work why does it not work okay i think the problem is that you're just not understanding like, you know, what we offer, we offer a product, we don't offer the service, okay? You're gonna have to figure out how to apply that heart yourself, buddy. See, I knew it was a matter of time before the admins came to shut us down. So I made a preemptive plan for that exact occasion. I realized if I kept the hearts for myself, Parrot would just remove them by force. I mean, that would be pretty easy. But if I were to have distributed the hearts to the rest of the server, he would have to rob everyone out of their hearts that they had just bought. Speaking of which, did you know I was selling the hearts for the same exact resources needed to make real ones? Meaning, while everyone else was buying fake hearts, this entire time, I've been money laundering the fake hearts into real ones, aka heart laundering. Okay, a follow-up problem is that there's a rule on lifesteal, once again, that states, if you have 10 hearts already, you can't apply any more that you crafted. Meaning, the only way you can actually get hearts above 10 is if you kill other people for them. However, say a person was to, you know, craft a heart, then give it to another person, and then kill that person? That technically bypasses the rule, right? That's right, loopholes, baby. So for the next few days, I went around the server acting very sketchy, getting people to sacrifice themselves to achieve immortality. I'm assuming you need hearts. And lucky for you, I know where there's several. In order for me to show you where your objective lies, I need you to grant me the opportunity to kill you. Uh, I'm okay, sorry. I, I got. I gotta do. I gotta do the ritual before your demise, businessman. 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 This may or not uh, be a scam. No! I don't want to be scammed. This I is not. But as I was nearing 20 hearts, I realized a dilemma with immortality. Life becomes invaluable. I mean, I could throw away 10 hearts and still have more hearts than most of the people on the server. Life isn't about living forever. No. It's about finding a vast amount of wealth. And that's when I recalled the one thing I'd been striving to get for months, the dragon egg. With Clompiers finally returning from my distraction, it was time to ask him to meet up and see if we could reach an agreement. You know, you have a kind of nice dragon egg there. But I would I would buy the fake dragon egg off you. Because if you say yay, then you're undervaluing, you know, my business skills. Okay, okay. And my partnership. Okay, well... Okay, so Pierce clearly wasn't falling for my offer, so I proposed something he couldn't reject. A fight. If I won, Klon would give me the egg, but if he won, I'd give him two of my hearts instead of one. And here's what happened. Let's go. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh, he fell. oh poison. There we go. Oh! Oh, he's poisoned. Oh wow, that oh that's a that bow is OP. Oh my god, the freaking knockback on that thing. Oh rip. GG. GG. Oh my god.
Dude. Bro, we didn't have Dude, my durability oh my was so low on my armor. Well, there goes two hearts, but that was practically cheap change. I could get those back in minutes. But for Clompiers, I mean, that guy had fallen from multiple traps in the past week. So, I mean, consider this a charitable donation to the less fortunate. <laughs> Nonetheless, his boosted pride from the fight would lead me to getting the egg. As in his triumph, he had let his guard down. The most important part of business is that everyone can be bought. And this time, it was one of his closest allies. You see, later that day, I had overheard that Clompiers was boastfully keeping the dragon egg in a secret monument that only a select few knew about. In exchange for the low price of one heart, I found out exactly where he was keeping it. And so that night, after Clompiers logged off, I made my move on the egg. <gasps> There's no way I could just come in here and take the egg, right? <gasps> no, not that. <gasps> and we're getting out of here. <laughs> Honestly, that was a bit too anticlimactic. I was half expecting there to be like a trap or something, but nope. The egg was just kind of sitting there. Anyhow, once again, victory's mine. But right, you didn't achieve the immortality, you're only on 11 hearts! You see, Jimmy, after that, I did some business deals. Hey, uh, Woogie, you wouldn't mind dying a few times, right? Wait, what? With Woogie's help, immortality was finally mine. My purpose on life still felt finally complete. I had all the wealth, I had all the power I could imagine. As most things, sadly, that wouldn't last long. You see, the thing is, with having, like, an immense amount of greed, right, eventually catches up to you, and, you know, lo and behold, when you use exploits and, you know, cheat a little bit, people eventually catch on, and, you know, you get in trouble, and there's consequences. And thus, everything I'd obtained over the past few months would quickly be stripped from me, leaving me powerless yet again. And hitting rock bottom, I ultimately felt that I needed a little break from Life Seal, at least for a few months. Until one day I returned. See, the first thing I did on my path back to 20 hearts was attend a Jeopardy event hosted by another player on the server. The winner would get a whole heart, but what he forgot to mention is that the losers would die. Look, at this point I was willing to do practically anything to get my hearts back, so when Terrain made me sign a contract to get on the game show, I secretly may or may not have added a clause that allowed me to kill him if I lost. You remember that yeah. little contract you made me sign? Uh, yeah, what about it? I may have made some revisions, you know? You remember that one clause where you're like, if I lose, you're allowed to kill me? Uh, yeah. Well, legally, I'm allowed to kill you if I lose. And you you are screwed unless you get me the dub. All right, sweet. Well, pleasure doing business. Although that was a giant success, I needed more. In fact, all my journeys to get back to 20 hearts, I actually ended up rigging a gambling machine so one person lost and I won. However, all these civil acts to get hearts back was not pleasing. I realized that the only actual way that was satisfying enough to get hearts on the server was through blood. And now that I had a couple hearts, I was confident enough to go back after the person responsible for taking them in the first place. Parrot. I knew exactly how to do that by planting a tree. Parrot believes that this tree has been here since the very start of the server, which, I, I mean, I don't know, but what, what I did tell him was that I stole it and that I was holding it hostage. It was pretty stupid. <laughs> I, I don't know why it mattered that much, but he was furious, and all I had to do now was wait. Now there's Treb, the original tree. Oh yeah, you want to see something? Here, check out my sword. I know that does something well, but like, you know. You realize like, you're implying that you are the fairy and then you're killing <laughs> anti-fairies. Oh, I mean, no, maybe because I'm the wielder, I am the anti-fairy slayer, because the sword is also- Yeah, the exactly. You're the slayer of anti-fairies. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, guys, they're right behind you. What do we do? There, there's like a guy up there. Oh, there's that, two that's... guys up there. Oh, there's a- is Wait. He, are they shooting at us? What's going on? Hey. You missed. I, I don't know what they're doing up there. They're just kind of like hovering above us. Is that the tree? And just as I predicted, they were too focused on the tree itself to realize they were falling into my trap. And while they were preoccupied retrieving the tree, it was time to execute order kill the vegans. Get him. Target vortex. Get him. Vortex. Get him. Okay, well, get parrot. Get parrot. Get him. Let's go. Get him. Right. This whole time. <laughs> go behind you. Oh no. Oh, there's a lot to go. Okay, just oh. go. Just go. Get him. I wonder I if it. I could pearl this straight. Oh yeah. I'm I did not ready. pearl it you're straight. Good, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm in the water. <laughs> I got another pearl. Can I land it properly? <laughs> I know I miss it again. <laughs> 
Okay, note to I self, I gotta work on my e-proing skills. That that was terrible. I practically had Parrot in my grasp and wasted it. Knowing a second chance would probably not arise, I decided to divert my attention to weaker targets. Pangy, um, stop running away, Pangy. All right, I'm all right. You're not gonna get Barman. But as I was chasing him down, he just disappeared. But a few moments later, I heard this in the background. <laughs> the person yelling in the background was none other than Rekram, a player notorious for escaping the deadliest traps on the server as well as being the most wholesome dude around. And this time he came to the rescue of Pangy right before I was going to kill them. Well, I I'm a bit betrayed by, you know, Rekram right now. Why do you feel oh, betrayed? Up. Well, you, you, you helped the guy no, that Rekram. owes me. Why does he owe you though? You, because I want Your stuff only from reason him. was because you want it. I feel like it's pretty legitimate because reason. None of it made any sense until a few days later when a player on the server by the name of Pofa told me to get in a call with him very quickly. So backstory to this. Um, I was in VC last night with Spoke and Spoke was on like an iMessage call with Ro, Jaren, Recrap, Parrot, but I could hear Parrot through Spoke's mic and here, I'll, I'll just let you listen to this. Start, start tickling him and then scare him off the bed. Do you hear that? I heard kill her dunes. Okay, Parrot wanted to kill me? That was pretty obvious by now, but Pofa mentioned he was in a group chat with several other people, including none other than Rekramp himself. So there was a conspiracy after all. It was at this point I figured that the interference from Rec Rap earlier wasn't actually a rescue for Pinky. It was in fact a sabotage for me. This entire time they've been preventing me from reaching 20 hearts. So before dealing with the whole plot to end me, I spent around my way back to 20 hearts by manipulating a player on the server. Jaren, look at me, look at me, look at me. I Why? let you have that heart for over a week, you know. You know there's a thing called interest? when you take out a loan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Originally, the rate was a day, but you know, it's kind of been compounding, you know. Then give me give me a moment real quick. Give me a moment. I need to pull up oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of owe me something big. I mean, just one heart. That's a bit, that's that's a bit that's disappointing. Big. I'd say like five netherite, maybe. Dog. No. <laughs> How about one of your hearts? And I'll, no. give, I'll give it back once you do the deal. Hey, you can trust I'm me. I'm waiting for, uh, I'm a I'm waiting for like someone to save me. I'm, I'm really in a predicament right now. You're just waiting for that <laughs> random eureka moment. The thing is, reaching 20 hearts was the easy part. The problem would be retaining them. Unlike last time, I now had a target on my back. But maybe if I could slowly pick off one member of the conspiracy one by one, I could slowly take down their numbers without them even being able to react. So my teammate and I plotted an ambush at their base for when one of them returns. Only problem is, instead of just one of them returning, their entire team did all at the same time. They're literally all here. Wait, there's a bunch of people right here. Oh. I'm getting wrecked. I'm in a 2v1 right now. Oh, they got thorns. What? Who uses thorns on their armor? All right, so right, Red, you have I'll just try my best to stay away from you. Oh, they got shields. But in the heat of battle, with us outnumbered, I looked over and saw my teammate fall before my very eyes, knowing that the fight was forfeit as I alone had to fight against the rest of their team. My only choice was to tactically retreat or fight to the end. And so I cowardly ran. So, there were a few things I took away from that encounter, the main one being, I am screwed. You see those guys? They aren't just any group of people trying to kill me. They are the Revengers. They are literally known for assembling to take down any threat or people they deem problematic. And supposedly, I was their next target. Any chance I had before to save myself was doomed. My hearts were practically as good as theirs. Okay, so I may have found a way out of this entire mess. You see, I was sitting in the public voice chat the other night, and then I heard Parrot mention something intriguing. It's called the Trust Diamond. Okay, interesting. Go on. So, Rek and I each have a copy. We each both have one Trust Diamond. And it's like the one item that symbolizes our trust. Okay, that was probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but if it meant a lot to Parrot and Rek, then I could probably use that to break their alliance, right? And fortunately for me, Parrot mentioned he lost the diamond the other day, and even better, that Rek Rep would kill him if he found out. Unfortunately for me, the person who now owns the diamond was Yad Jaren, but I was desperate for a chance to rescue myself from death, so I urgently messaged Yad Jaren regarding the whereabouts of the trust diamond, and he placed it in the middle of the end. 
500 blocks out. Okay, does he seriously think I'm about to bridge over the void, risking my own life for a stupid die? Have you ever done something very stupid? Yeah. What are you doing? Looking for something. Are you in the end? Maybe. Well, I, I know what Parrot was doing in the end. There is nothing there. At first, I didn't think much about what Spoke had to say, but then it hit me. How did he know I was in the end looking for the trust diamond? Do you know that and because Parrot didn't his time. anything, or...? No, because the person who set it up told me. To be honest, Jaren punking me by sending me on a false goose chase for the diamond made sense. I mean, I, I, I'd scammed him just a few days prior, so, you, you know, it's karma. But as I was preparing to give up, Spoke mentioned something peculiar. But uh, you'll have many more chances to get it. You sure? Yes. I didn't think much of it until later that night when BAM! Spoke announces an auction for the trust diamond. So we had it this entire time! Bruh! But the one thing that stood out was why were they trying to sell the diamond now? I mean, they had paired on the run for weeks, so why were they just letting that go now? Unless the auction wasn't meant for Parrot. So I was heading over to the auction, and most things seemed ordinary, except the fact that Rekrap was in attendance. The whole point of this hunt, according to Parrot, was that Rekrap didn't know he lost a diamond, and if he did, he'd kill Parrot. But nonetheless, the auction proceeded as planned. All right, All right, two totems, two totems, going. Three totems. One Three. dollar. Bro, Radunes, actually, bro. Two right. dollars. No, no, it's it's just like, if this is for someone's content, and you keep saying like, three totems. What the? So, the auction was a trap, which I kind of figured, but, you know, I, I'm disappointed. I, I was expecting them to do something grander. And with that fail, everyone started questioning the legitimacy of the trust diamond. And with that, Rekrap decided to step forward, offering to help validate it since he had the other one. In doing so, Rekrap did prove that the diamond was real. However, he also accidentally revealed his chat where Parrot leaked the entire plan to scam me. This entire time, the trust diamond was a fake. Luckily, I kind of foresaw that, so I, this entire time, I've been devising a second plan to take down the Revengers in case a trust diamond failed. And then my eyes wandered to the very same person that sabotaged me earlier. Rekrep. AKA, Parrot's most trusted ally. You see, a while back, I stumbled upon a specific video by none other than The Terrain, where he publicly vowed to kill Rekrep. Of course, this got Rekrep very concerned for his own well-being, so he ended up doing a server-wide search for the trap, but ended up not finding anything. But what if I told you that's exactly what Terrain wanted? Because he found out that Rekrep's one flaw and weakness was paranoia. What are you guys doing? Nothing, 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 nothing. And since Rankrip is close friends with one of the Revengers leaders, I could probably use that to take down the entire operation. Big brain. Well, you may be wondering what this has to do with me. Well, Terrain went off to take the SAT, so he'd been gone for about a week or so. And during this time, Rekrap was looking for the trap. The problem is, the trap was in Rekrap's mind. This entire time, there was no physical trap. But with Terrain's absence, Rekrap was desperate. But maybe I could use that to my advantage. All right, so listen up. I, I know that you've been intrigued about our boy Terry's little endeavor. I have information on what you're looking for, but it's gonna cost huh? you. And there, there's a certain guy you know. Parrot. And I think it'd be very funny if you sold them out to get this information. What kind of information would you be providing me? I will give you a description of what it is. I will also give you a coordinates to where you can find out more. Well, if you could sweeten the deal and tell me all of the, the coordinates, I will kill Parrot for you and give you his heart. And to sweeten the deal, I will also give you some bananas. Interesting bananas. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. I accept. You accept the deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. All right. Let's shake on it. Now before you ask, no, I'm not actually going to be giving Rekrap Terrain's actual trap, because there never was one. This entire time, Terrain was just playing mind games with Rekrap, making him delusional, thinking there was a trap to get him. So to fall through with the deal, I spent three days building a fake trap, mimicking how Terrain's trap was possibly perceived by Rekrap. But just to be sure, I invited Terrain to take a tour of my handiwork to see if he approved. Okay, so, so you set up a secret <laughs> Well, okay, see, yeah. I, 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 I was thinking, right? If I was Terry, what would I do, right? Basically, I just yeah. made this, like, tiny little minecart trap. Okay, and then you finally come to a room. But then, on top of yeah. that, right, I made a very confusing little dugout of bedrock and put soul sand uh. here. If Rekrab does find this, it would just be a bit confusing as to why this is. But, Terry, Terry, um, Terry, there's a, there's a stasis chamber under the heart bank, apparently. I gotta, I gotta ask right. you for a bit of assistance. Will you set that up and you could just get me right. out of there instantly? Yeah, I, I can, I can help with you. Uh, stasis that's that's no worries perfect, perfect and as we were leaving terrain had the perfect method to validate the tramp as his own uh, so oh snorkel conquestador oh well, no that wait, this is, is mine yet yeah, this is my dog oh this is my dog. 
That's perfect. That's huge. Dude, it's so good that I brought oh my snorkel, God. bro. <laughs> Dude, you just brought the perfect alibi. Everything was perfect. Everything was planned and set in motion. Now all I had to do was rely on Rekrap to betray his greatest ally. Hello, Rekrap. Oh, oh, what's up, guys? Oh, uh, and Parrot, do you want to go to VC2 real quick? Yeah, that works. Okay, okay. All I want you to do is is go over there and read the book. That'll give you instructions on the next thing to do, okay? All right. I'm sorry, Parrot. <laughs> Gosh, that worked so well. Did that actually work? <laughs> Look at the chat, Ridu. Nah. <laughs> Dude, it's hard to What? No, no, hold I, I, I'm leaving. Hold I'm on. leaving. This is where the damage is. Where's all? Dude, they fell right on his Where's head. Where's all his he didn't stuff? Didn't suspect a thing. It blew up. Nah, there is no shot. <laughs> Okay. What? Pair not dropping stuff was a bit concerning, you know? Like, usually a person would drop a whole inventory's worth of stuff, which is a bit off, but at this point, I, I wasn't too deep. If I if I questioned now, he would know something was up. And so, all I could do was play along. Yeah, no. I actually, here, hold on, Rack. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I actually had a contingency plan in case you failed. No, 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 no. What's no. the contingency? Oh, this is awkward. Okay, this is very awkward. Okay, okay well, not. luckily, luckily okay. you didn't betray me. Remember how I made a deal to sell rank grab two coordinates for killing Parrot? Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest, I kinda lied. I only had one coordinate, so I had to do the one thing great businessmen do. Scam. Right, you forgot about mm. half the deal. <laughs> what half did I forget about? You're not serious, are you? I said I wanted one of his hearts, Rick. Did you actually? Yeah. Well, I then why did you why did you okay the TNT explosion bit? <laughs> well, I thought you'd kaboom. get credit. Well, I I don't know, man. You're you're the mastermind. Look, I I, I would be kind of scamming you if I didn't provide something. So yeah. I'll give you one part of the deal since this is like half the deal, half the price. Like, what I will give you the coordinates, and uh, that is literally in that direction. I can show it to you if you want for the yeah sure. You want to go there now and just like talk about the info while we're talking? Yeah yeah sure yeah. But yeah, so what exactly is this information? Yeah, you remember how I told you that terrain's like entire trap wasn't actually a physical trap, but you know, a mind games one. I don't really know how to explain that to Rank Rap. I think it's better just to play into his paranoia and describe the ultimate trap. He, he's been like working on several parts. He wants soul sand, then dripstone, emerald ore. Yeah, basically he's shooting like a bunch of potions on you, right? I'm not entirely sure, but I think he's doing it underground. The main killing mechanism sounds like it's gonna be potions. I think that's and more just to debuff direction. you. Yeah, I could tell Rankrap wasn't buying any of it. I mean, come on, I was listening to every kill mechanism of Minecraft. So as I was bringing him to the actual trap location, I decided to change my plans. I was going to act completely oblivious and let him find the trap himself. Wait, you don't know where Terrain's thing is? I know it's around here somewhere, but I actually don't know where specifically <laughs> oh, come it is. Come on, Red Hoon. I don't know. Alright, I'll know. begin my search, I guess. Mm -hmm. You never know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't know if that's a duplicate, but it was. Wait, nice. yeah, what it's isn't this Terry's dog? I'm I gonna be honest, I didn't actually notice this was here. If he said it was like around, I don't think he would have put it like in the basement, you know? But you remember how I said like there was bedrock? Could it be like below? Do I dig down? <laughs> if you want, <laughs> I'll just watch, I guess. Well, I, I, I'm not sure. <gasps> Whoa, Red Hoons, Red Hoons, shift, 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 shift. Uh, let me get Terry out of here. Terry is here. There's a Terry's drama. within the area. Just so you all know, this was not part of the plan. Terrain had got completely rogue. I had no clue what he was doing. If he exposed himself, it was all over. But what ended up happening was quite the opposite. Keep digging. Keep digging. Uh, all right. It just oh goes down. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, there's a mine shaft down here. Ah. Uh, uh, hey, Rack, you may want to come down. Terrain being nearby cemented this in Rack's eyes as being a convoluted trap. This is perfect. What? Did you go down? Where'd you, where'd you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm completely invisible. Terrain is still in the area. Is he? So this actually Ooh, makes a lot of sense. Redoons. What? Oh, there's bedrock here. Oh, there's soul sand here, uh, Redoons. There's like bedrock. Dude, look over here. What? Bedrock and soul sand. I'm gonna have to do some research, see what kind of trap this is. Thank you, Redunes. Thank you. Hey, I'm helpful. Okay, well, thank you. I, I gotta head out. I, I'll prepare the uh, stuff for you, though. Thank you. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna okay. get out of here. Bye. Bye bye. That went a lot better than expected. 
<laughs> you genius! <laughs> what? What? What did I do? Right, See, right. when you logged on, right? He was on the tablets. He's like, dude, stop! Shift! I'm like, what? What's going on? He's like, oh my god, Terry's in the area! I'm like, he is? <laughs> like, I didn't even know that. I was like, oh shoot, I guess he is. Oh my god, this was hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, I just tricked the smartest it. player on the <laughs> life steal. And as we were celebrating, I got a DM from RecRap. It was a forwarded screenshot from his DMs with Parrot. No shot. Oh my god! No! There is no shot. I just got a very, very bizarre DM, and I won't believe this is true. No. <laughs> no shot. Oh my god, it's true! What? 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 Parrot blew up Redgrab's castle! <laughs> oh, I feel terrible! I was just intending on this being like a very light betrayal, and that was about it. No, but as I was trying to get a hold of Redgrab to tell him what actually happened, Leo Wick approached me with urgent information on the matter. Okay. I tend to not know this information. Okay. You know what happened earlier? Redgrab and Parrot. Oh, yeah? So, last night, Redgrab yeah. came up to me. He asked me, he was like, Hey, Leo Wick, can I, can I get some help with this? He was going to give parrot an armor set of curse of vanishing and give him an extra heart and then when the time comes parrot will put that armor on and apply that heart and die record for attempting to scam me was really a shocker i mean after all i kind of done the same thing to him so I, I i i guess that's karma huh but that's besides the point rec needed to pay for what he's done i mean i had months of work just go down the drain all because rec rep wouldn't betray his best friend and I would make him regret that. I decided to put together a little test for him. I would approach Rekrap in the coming days and exclaim I would avenge his castle by blowing up the Revenger space. Now, I may be taking this a bit too far, but th this is Minecraft. We take this very seriously. But before I can enact my plan, I got a message from Rekrap asking to talk. Okay, I've been putting some pieces mm -hmm. together with a like uh, terrain thing. Yeah. On our way to terrain's place, right? Yeah. And you kind of just stop. Yeah. Right? And then I, I hear this on the audio. Which sounds like a mute key or something. Oh no, I right? was typing. Like as if you were typing. Yeah. yeah. This is like the main point that I was calling for. So there, there's a bit of a peculiar thing mm. that happens here. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty tiny, but if you can see right right here it disappears Wait, that's a bubble and floats away that's a bubble i do have my sources and i know that it was terry and it's awfully convenient because you you kind of like typed a bit earlier to somebody all right he got me in reality all of his accusations were true i mean i, I yeah sure i was talking with terry when that happened but i couldn't confess now that would jeopardize everything so I had to do the unthinkable. Confront his confrontation. You can decide whether to believe me or not, but I had no clue about him following us and stuff like that. In fact, I was actually pretty shocked when like you said he was like, you know, the lair thing when he was in the area. How do you think he was following us then? That no idea dude so what was it that you wanted to talk to me about oh i have been doing a bit of interesting analysis of life still you know parrot <laughs> parrot yeah kind of destroyed something that was you know very valuable to you right so uh -huh. I, yeah my yeah. castle and i was thinking you know why not destroy something that is very meaningful to him you know what this is right that's revengers this is where HQ. they live so i was thinking yeah why not just blow up parrot's base blow up all of the Revengers place? I don't see why not. So I'm gonna be honest, I came into this call thinking you were gonna admit to having terrain follow us, right? And like you were in cahoots with them because you, you, you chatted. Interesting. And I thought it was gonna be like this brilliant scene where both of us haven't been being honest. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, you know how Parrot didn't drop anything when I blew him up? Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason behind that, Redoons. Okay, can you can you explain? Um, do, do you know that Parrot is actually on my team, Redoons? So yeah, what are you yeah, telling yeah. me? Um, what you telling me is that you never betrayed Parrot. Was he in on that the entire time? Yeah. Awkwardness out of the way. How you doing, Redoons? How you feeling right now? <laughs> I don't know how to respond. You, you do realize that mm -hmm. care that he blew up my castle? Like, that's cool. Okay, I gotta hand it to Rick Rap. He did go to pretty great lengths to, you know, prevent me from figuring it all out. I mean, he, he had sent Parrot a full-blown email with details about what was gonna happen. Honestly, fair game. I, I did not see that coming. So, great job, Rick. But there, there are still consequences to your lines. Uh, in reality, Rick, 
I, I don't really care about your castle. This was just kind of a test uh -huh. because I knew you were lying the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> knew it! I knew it! We were both in the call knowing we betrayed each other. Actually, but it was more a test uh -huh. of trust to see if I could trust you in a legitimate business deal, which clearly I can't. Which no, because I, I saved I saved Pangy from you yeah. because. Oh. Yeah. No. Go okay. on. Go on. We're having a fun conversation here. You, you keep talking about this whole thing of like you don't want to betray anyone's trust. But in the fact, you, yeah. you know, we had a legitimate business deal where we shook hands. We shook hands directly. I do genuinely feel well, <laughs> sad. Well, <laughs> feel a bit sadder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we leave. <laughs> tell Terrain to quicken the pace. <laughs> Want me to tell him to trap you soon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. Okay, you I'll should, tell him you that you're on to him. <laughs> Dude, because that's all I need. I don't even care how this ends. <laughs> I just need it to end exactly, so I can make a video. Exactly, man. dude. Uh. <laughs> it seemed like everything was finally coming together. Parrot was dead, Rex Castle was gone, the Revengers HQ was in shambles. But there was one last thing Rec Rap wanted to be trapped. And so, I'd provide him with that. Do you want to step inside? Yeah, I mean, am I going to die? No, you won't die. You won't die. What, what do you think this is, Rec Rap? I don't know. The the heart shall shine to a new nation. Hello to failed migration. That's you, because the migration failed, right? I mean, sure, there's that too. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hey, Red, what's How up? How you what's been, up, my man? guy? How's it Yo. going? That was pretty baller, <laughs> dude. That was so epic. I may yeah. or may not have built this entire place, you know. This entire coordinate, the coordinate I offered you and part of the deal, that's a complete facade. A complete lie. What? I made all of that up. That's in fact, you know the whole insane. soul sand stuff? It's just something I found in yeah. a chest that I put on the ground for fun. Yeah, that's basically all that was. Uh -huh. There's no trap. There's nothing. My goal this whole time has been to get trapped. <laughs> I was gonna willingly walk in here. I was, this whole time I was like, okay, today's the day I'm gonna die. Today's the day I'm finally gonna get trapped. Are you kidding me? Well, that was a bit ironic. You see, this entire time, Rekrip has built up a reputation as being like an escape artist. The fact that he was literally willingly to walk into this and die to our trap, and we, we didn't make a kill mechanism because we didn't feel like it, is a um, bit of a bra moment. Would have been cool to have the reputation as a man that killed the untrappable player, but with the end of one conflict, typically that means another one's about to begin that's just the cycle of life seal and of course that is when i got a message from my dear friend planet lord saying bro there's a group of people just jumping everyone on life steel and i'm pretty sure you're next uh a bit confused an evil team they've killed a bunch of people the cleansing or whatever i don't know about you guys but that that, that kind of sounds like a cult to me either way i, I logged on the server thinking maybe i could get some answers as to what the cleansing actually is hi how are I you spoke. Yo, where are yeah. y'all at? I don't know. No, no we're looking for... Uh, you know that thing we were just talking Folk, about? You're, yeah. you're coming to my detective agency to be detained. Okay, see, that that, that just piques my interest. They, they could have just DM'd each other. They straight up just go in the call for all to hear. Do not talk about this super top secret thing. Bruh. Of course, I made my way over to their base for a recon mission with my friend Prinzam. Doesn't it? Wait, Leo's still on? Also, Spoke's in there. Yes, that's Spoke. Wait a minute. What is He's going working. On? with them. Just moments later, their friend Mapic logs in and out of nowhere appears from the other room. We're surrounded. At least in my eyes, that was a bit sus, but it, it got even weirder. They were slowly closing up exits, almost as if they were trying to prevent us from leaving. And yes, I may be paranoid, but for a good reason, okay? I overheard Zam say this. There's a strength talking. arrow? How does he have strength arrows? Okay, look, for the Irish Minecrafter, tipped arrows aren't a problem, but on this server, they're actually illegal. Meaning that, you know, the fact that Spoke knew about it was kind of a bra moment. So if Spoke knew, how many else did? And what? were their intentions with them. See, for days I pondered that question until Planet Lord once again messaged me. Dude, they got me. What? Dude, I don't know, I was just in my base and they came in and jumped me with cobweb and bows. Wait a minute, bows? Uh, did you happen to be recording by any chance? Okay, so this is apparently the POV of Planet Lord moments before his death. And then, okay, someone cobwebbed him. Uh, bro, are you serious? Bro, do you see that? Dude, those are harming arrows. Nah. <laughs> so these people were using banned and illegal items to quick drop random defenseless players that couldn't do anything about it. And there's only three targets left that they've yet to kill. One of them being myself. That being confirmed later that day when I got on the server to hang out with Prinzam 
and may have accidentally heard something on his stream. I want to kill Jaren if I saw him again. Oh my god, Redudes, oh my god, oh my god, it's cleansing day, it's cleansing day. Okay, look, I know stream sniping isn't the best thing in the world, but it was an accident. In my defense, I didn't think Zan was going to go and join a cult, but, you know, the cat's out of the bag now. <laughs> Maybe now's a good time to find some teammates. See, the problem is the two people that still alive were Ashwag and Clompiers. Two people I'm very much wronged in the past. I mean, I stole the dragon egg from Clompiers, and I kinda may have killed Ashwag on day one. However, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume they also kinda wanna live. It's probably a good idea to reach out just in case they want a team. Apparently, people wanna kill us. Always. Yeah, but it seems like we specifically got targets on our backs, man. Huh. Strange. And that that was it. No offer to team or to elaborate on the matter. That just silence. I was pretty certain I'd, I'd have to deal with this on my own, but then the other day I got a message from Ashwag to get in a chat with him. Folks been asking me like how many hearts I'm on. They've all been desperately trying to figure out how many hearts we're on. No. I think they're just gonna kill everyone and then they said on Friday some huge cleansing thing is gonna happen. You know they're like killing people pretty easily, right? Can you tell us everything you know? Uh, aren't they using tipped arrows and shit? Yeah, okay, yeah, he knows, yeah. Do you know how this, the, the arrows work? No, okay. Look, look, uh, this is a shot, right? Mm -hmm. How many hearts is that? Um, like one and a half. Now check this out. So yeah, the, the harming arrows are a, a bit broken. You can drill a person's health down to zero in approximately two seconds. That's what the entire team was using to kill us. But little did they know, we also knew how to get the arrows. After all, I was there when Leo Wick discovered it. And so we got to work to get the arrows ourselves. I'll say it's working, oh, okay. it's working, our plan is working. Oh, it's working. It's Spencer's harming arrows. Oh guys, can we have a collective wow excitement reaction? Wait guys. Whoa, it's Whoa. oh my God. Oh, that's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, we were in business. From the grinding, we were able to manufacture about three stacks of harming arrows each, which was more than enough to take on the cleansers. But the problem was, as we were dispensing the arrows, out of nowhere, Spoke showed up outside our factory. So... Guys, 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 know how to use the harming arrows in the most optimal way but the main issue is that while we were chasing spoke rec rep accidentally shot one of his harming arrows at spoke if spoke saw that we were compromised they would know everything but i quickly picked up the evidence in hopes that they didn't catch that and it was a pretty solid chance we had spoken about our tactical plans in their presence so from this point onward we dubbed our battle tactics as candy crushing rec you on legacy right now no yeah. we're on uh candy crush okay with the cleansers having a lot of experience and now you probably even knowing that we knew about the harming arrows we would have to act fast before the actual cleansing on friday coincidentally for us in a few days a vip's joining the server his name being Tommy in it. And the cleansers have made it abundantly clear that they want to team up with Tommy. How about when Tommy joins, uh, we hop off of Legacy, uh, we pick him up, we kind of fill him in on what's happening, but then, you know, kind of use him as bait for the for the other team to try and fight us. <laughs> we have a little skirmish. Oh, look, Tommy said, whitelist me, parrot, please, Elameo. Okay, Tommy's getting on today, but there's still like a solid hour before he's joining. So we got on another server for some last minute Candy Crush practice, hoping to evade suspicion. That's right, don't lose Candy Crush, please. Yeah, sorry, I'm on level 226. Guys! Hmm? Oh, Candy Zam! Zam! Wait, hold on, Zam, hey. how'd you get into Candy Crush? <laughs> what? I'm playing Candy I'm Crush. Candy Crush. Oh. oh, well, can you play Candy Crush by yourself by any chance? You fucking hate me. Okay, could we have been a bit more subtle about candy crushing? Maybe, but we were pretty sure they already knew about our plans. There was no going back at this point. Tommy was joining in a few minutes, so it, it didn't really matter, did it? Uh, well, I'm Rick, to can you, can you DM him, ask him if, like, to check if he is whitelisted? Yeah. Right. He's online. Right. Who, Parrot? Tommy's on Lifesteal. He what? is? Now, all we had to do was get Tommy in it on our side. What, like, what's your current goal, right, Grab? My current goal is to kill some of the the cleansers, is what they call themselves. Tommy, here's here's the deal right now, right? We're in all a war right now against the cleansers. Continue. They want they want to take all the hearts. Who what? And they want to distribute it evenly. Life well, communism. You know, I love communism. No, yeah? no, 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 no. You're no, on the wrong I side, Tommy. No, right? I don't know if you're the good guys or not. I'm always on the good team. You get okay. to decide, Tommy. Yeah. Are you the good guys? We're. 
the guys. We no, are the good guys. We are not. indeed the good guys. No, no, no. We insist. <laughs> is he one of the cleansers or not? No, no, no. Wait, wait, hold he's up. with us. He's with oh, us. Sorry. Okay, so See, I'm okay. Jump. <laughs> yeah, I think. Hold up. I, I think Ashwag's actually getting jumped jump by the cleansers right, right now. Yeah. I'm hold being up. cleansed. Okay, okay, okay. Oh shoot. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, What's Where's happening? What's happening? Ash? Going, Fill me in. Spoke is trying to kill terrain. Jumping me at spawn. Hell, Jumping me at spawn. Spoke's trying to kill terrain. Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Wait, wait, wait. I thought he was memeing. He's actually. Yeah. No. He's been trying to kill all of us. He's not memeing. He's not memeing. Just kill him. Just kill him. <laughs> what, where, are you guys, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Clown? Tommy, no, Tommy's in their VC with Spoke and Zam, so I'm. Oh, I have a sense that they're on. Oh, no. I have a sense that they're with the cleansers. All right, Tommy did from the call for a while, and it was pretty obvious that he was making communications with the enemy. Not even five minutes later, Tommy typed some chords in the chat. Oh, like, right now, oh, no, it's just they're go. baiting us. I think that yeah, they. I think they want everyone to assemble on Tommy. The, cleanse, oh, Tommy. the cleansers would be considered a certified bad decision. Down, I was calm just down, saying, calm down. The cleansers seem to have a point with the whole people have more hearts than you guys so tommy why would why would you want to take your hearts and give it to someone else hmm? because I don't no, 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 Tommy, yes. Tommy, we're not, we're not communists. Yes. It's called life seal for a reason, not life share. Capitalist scum, you're the one percent. Excuse die, me, die, dude, die. No, 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 dude, Tommy, you better change your mind right now, Tommy. I never change my mind. You sure about when that? When my mind is made up. Are, are, uh, what, what are you looking at? Hi, gentlemen. Uh, there's that was the cleaners that did. We have oh, this, oh, the there's a few. Oh, there's a few visitors over Friends. here. Oh, there's a few. Tommy, it's them or us. Oh, he's what gone. You, Never mind. What? So, what? Here's where I'm at. The cleansers have a point, you know? That's Everyone should be able point. to equalize hearts. Tommy, that's like not a point. Well. Hello. That's, that's not a point, Tommy. Very fast. However, it, that sort of forceful way of doing it, it's not so for me, you know? I'm a all democratic right, Tommy, how about man. This? Okay, okay, give me one of your hearts if you are all sharing hey, a Hey, you know what, Red? Why don't you give me one of your hearts? As a I would never do that. I may have 19 hearts, but that's besides the point, okay? You have no Okay, give a heart. No. Why? I like my arts. Trade swords. Okay, give me a <laughs> give me a first. Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't I don't like that very much. Here, you could have this. Oh, I'm about to get jumped. Where at? Uh, in the Nether somewhere. Nether hub. I just want to come back to the hub. Right now, right. live on a farm. Yeah, that would be nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to run away together, Tommy? What the hell was that? Dude, like, I, I just had like a heart attack, man. Zam spoke oh, and someone else just all in bits like literally jumped me and threw poison at me. Where are they? Uh, I, I escaped them. I'm in the nether right now. Okay, that was close. This entire time, the cleansers only intended on using Tommy as bait to get me. Our element of surprise was gone, and Tommy was with the enemy. Basically, the day is over. I mean, at the time, I was in the public voice chat just cutting trees when suddenly Ashwag messaged me saying he's about to get jumped. Which, I don't know, that seemed kind of odd because this was literally our call at the time. You know what? I, I decided to give Ashwag the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, maybe, maybe he was right. And when I turned the corner, there he was, Ashwag, all alone, just vibing. Okay, I don't know if this was a coincidence or what Ash was actually trying to warn me about, but later that night, while I was sleeping, Clown Pierce met with Rec Rep at his base when all of a sudden... Oh, who's that? Run, 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 run! Clown, 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 clown. No! After that, nothing felt the same. The whole purpose of our team was to stay alive, and unfortunately, Clown had lost that goal and didn't really care anymore. Last night, Clown went on a full-on mad killing spree, dooming everyone in his path without purpose. Look, up until this point, everything we did was for survival. What Clown just did was gruesome and barbaric. My entire intention was just to live. I feel like things have kind of changed. Man, everyone, all the non-cleansers, 15 minutes before the cleansing, we gather at Brancy's castle for a rally speech. Okay, I, I'm, I'm a bit confused. Not, nobody told me about a rally. See, I was in a call with my friend Terrain at the time who mentioned he saw one of the supposed cleansers digging on Brancy's castle earlier today. What if the cleansers just give our hearts back and then leave? What if, what if that's like the Maybe. whole thing? But then Ash wouldn't say like, this is the one thing you won't want to well, miss. How would he say that? Ash? I don't know, he said it in the uh, Discord server. I don't know, I'm very suspicious that some like I'm going to die. I don't care about other people. I feel people, like a lot of people are gonna die. Quite frankly. Hmm. I'm inside Brancy's castle God damn, right is there now. no iron? I, nope. know, I don't know who it is. We didn't find anything. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. This entire base is completely hollow. Yeah, no, I do. Dude, this is definitely something shady going down. My concern is that they're going to give the hearts back. No no conflict. Just here's your hearts back, everyone. And then after that, Clown is going to be like, well, I need to get back to the hearts. Because he wants 
to be at 20 hearts. Mm. Yeah, he wants to be, of course. Although what Terry was saying seemed plausible, I didn't want to believe. Why would Clown endanger everyone for self-gain, hmm? But then finally, I had my last straw. Okay, so Clown Pierce uploaded this video. I just want to bring one thing to y'all's attention. Bam! How the heck does he have 48 gaps? And 16 pearls as well! What? Okay, look, on the server, we have a plugin that specifically prevents you from getting over 16 gapples as well as limits pearls to 5. So, how did he get that many? Hmm? Then I recalled something Ash actually said the other day when we were getting gold for the harming arrows in the first place. I love Minecraft. Where are these? True. Uh, Me too. What, what's 8 times 64? Um... I don't know. Okay, eight. okay, well... Does anyone eight have times eight stacks of gold? What? So they have known this entire time and not told me. I, I don't understand it. I, I, gotta, I gotta get gold fast. You see, the problem is it's kind of hard trusting anyone anymore. People just <laughs> don't tell me anything. I'm so lost. Kind of odd that Ashwag is on with literally the entire enemy team. So I just messaged Ashwag asking about the coordinates, but I'm not getting an answer. He's kind of leaving me on red right now. Hey Ash. Hey Ash. Ash, what are you up to right now? Yo, what's up? I have no idea. What what are you guys doing? The event, right? Yeah, the, no, yeah, there's one 15 minutes before the cleansing, whatever the hell that is. I'm trying to get the golden apples, but I don't mm. even know how to do it. Yeah, I'm trying to do it myself. I just collected a bunch of gold. See, Klein is a bit MIA incommunicado yeah, right now. Back full circle. He said he's doing the whole rally meeting thing at Brandy. Yeah, service. but considering yeah, we're like on his team, I thought he would be a bit more communicative. Yeah, so th there's definitely something sketch going on. And although it's pretty obvious, I don't know. I still had a sliver of hope that we were still going to be finding the cleansers later today. So I guess I'm making my way over to the rally. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Everybody, everyone before anything else yeah. happens, get around. All right, guys. Just as a safety precaution, why, why not just do a quick 360 scan of there? And, and okay, there it is. Going on, hey, guys, going guys, they're outside, they're outside, they're outside. They're here, they're here. They're here. They're here. Bro, they're here. Bro, bro, bro. Wait. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm lagging. Oh, wait. Oh. All right. This rally wasn't meant to unite everyone. It was intended to be a mass grave. Jaren, Jaren, everyone here is innocent. Clown left the no, voice chat. Everyone here is innocent. You're all being yeah. played by Clown right now. Clown set up yeah. the TV. That's the thing. Is he? Uh, what? Do you think Brancy oh, was in God. on it then? Brancy's castle blew up. Do not all right, check up. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Uh, oh shoot! Man. Guys, guys, guys! Oh, they're all the they're all over here. They're all over here. All invis people would be cleansed. Drink the milk. Alright. Alright. <laughs> wait, 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 part wait, wait. of the cleansers, though, right? Spoke is part yeah. of the cleansers, yes. Yeah, yes. so wait, Wreck is good. Wreck is good. No, Wreck is yeah, not good. Well, then why is he killers. killing the cleansers? I have up to Because there's know. three teams. We don't know who almost tried to kill us in I'm so confused uh, right now. castle. Imagine being me right now. You spent the past few weeks working with the team trying to survive a massacre, and they may have just abandoned you and tried to kill you. Well, the other team is also trying to kill you. So I, I guess for now, my only option is to try to fight besides Clown, and hopefully he doesn't kill me. I have a blue brick shield, so. Oh, okay. Oh. Right, right now I'm outside Capital City. Oh, I see Jaren, I see Jaren, and I see someone else in the Oh, I see. So we're yeah, teaming with the cleansers now. I don't know. That's what I'm doing. It's all to you. We have made our. What the hell? Maybe, maybe they do. Oh, they just spawned the wither. Where did they spawn it? There's three. There's going to be upwards of six. How do you know there's going to be upwards of six? Oh my god. All three fight clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Clown sucks. I didn't want to believe it, but in the Discord was photo proof that not only did Clown want to kill everyone, but they had also abandoned me, leaving me on my own. To be honest, I probably should have seen this coming. But hey, at least them betraying me will be good content for their videos, right? Okay, you don't have to get, go after Clown. Where are you? Zoo? Okay. Clown does Zoo? Oh, there's Clown, there's Clown. Oh god. Oh, dude, there's so many people here! Oh my god! Someone boots me! Oh my god. Oh, he's... He's right here. He's right here. oh my god. Do you have speed or something? Yeah, it's because of the beacons. Oh. Alright, <laughs> oh, he, he got dolphin. He got dolphin. 
He's trying to get a dog. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which way? Which way? Following the rails way, to uh, Revengers. They lost Clown again? Oh my god. I think everyone lost Clown. I think he's gone. God damn it. Oh man. Clown had escaped us. We basically spent the next 30 minutes searching the entire serve form, but from spawn to the base's farthest away, nothing. Some of the cleansers were still finding Clown's henchmen at spawn, so I was making my way over there when randomly. Alright. Oh, I found him! More weird. Whoa. I just. Net, Who? This is Who type in chat. Negative 1,000, positive 3. Okay, yeah. We're at a, we're they went through this portal right here. Like oh, he's right there! Cloud is right here! Cloud is right Where? here! Where's he here? Is he still at the portal? Hey! We did it! Hell! I killed Clown! Oh my god! We found Clown's bed. Perfect. We can kill him off the server if we want. <laughs> oh. We won. In as simple as one easy kill, the cleansing was over. Clown Pierce was gone, but apparently the cleansers had found his base and spawn trapped him. And at that point, I would have just assumed they would kill him off the server and get rid of him for good, but it seemed they had other plans in mind. We had a vision, including Parrot, that we wanted to bring Lifesteal back to peace. And I knew that if I spawn killed Clown at his bed, that would have not done it. I may have got him back to 10, I would have got him back to 10 hearts, but that would have not brought peace back to lifesteal, and it would have just resorted back to what it was. We want to make a truce and end this war. Ending all of our illegal activities, ending all of this destruction, this anarchy, we're not enemies anymore. We are lifesteal! Overall, the cleansing went pretty well for me, all things considered. Like, fun fact, apparently I was like one of the super main targets. Like, Leo would told me they wanted to death ban me off the server. Considering I ended up at 20, I'd like to say I got the last laugh. But as with most things in my life, things would go horribly wrong. For you see, the cleansing would cause a huge power struggle over the server. Before the cleansing, certain strong players had majority of the hearts, which discouraged others from taking charge and attempting to, you know, subjugate everyone. But with most of the players now reset back to 10, and me taking hiatus for the fact that I lost my voice to COVID and I was too sick to play, it seemed that was no longer the case. Ultimately, this would brew what led to the end of the server. But for that, we must first go back a couple of weeks to when a wall randomly appeared in front of my base. When the heck did this wall get here? Huh? I don't get it. Was this built for aesthetical reasons? You know what, I take it back. As you can see, marked down in white over here is what I call Capital City, which is my kingdom and territory. This is where I encountered the wall for the first time. I decided to follow it, and as you see, there's a gray line going around a huge portion of the server. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. Complimenting the wall are all these freaking banners. Like, bruh, someone's been placing them around my Capital City. There's two over there, there's one there, one here, and then there's two over there. Like, I, I could be wrong, but this does kind of feel like a territorial claim. So I decided to investigate further when all of a sudden I get an urgent message from my friend Woogie. I'm getting messages like, you know, those Amber Alerts, someone saying they got kidnapped. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Let me, let me, let me ask you something, Red, okay? What if someone who you thought was one of your loyal servants made fun of your mom? So that in the call was a dude named Prince Zam, and Prince Zam imprisoned Woogie for, hear this, saying a your mom joke. Apparently your mom jokes were made constitutionally illegal by guess who? Prince Zam. That's right. That's no right. One makes no fun one. Of my mom. So There's I a law of the I made walls. One okay, law. okay, okay, okay. First off, this is an anarchy server. <laughs> there aren't laws here. Second of all, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that Zam and Pangy are probably behind this whole wall situation. I mean, looking back, I probably should have seen it. The crown on the banners probably represents the one in Zam's skin. But if he thought he could simply subjugate the server, he had the wrong thing coming. Whoa. That my capital city does not abide by the laws of your Yeah, but that was until right Pangy became the president. President, but the inside of capital city. I'm, I'm thousands no, 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 of blocks no, no, away. No, 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 so far away. Did you just say the capital city is yours now? No. Yes. Okay. You're, you're, yeah, you kind of. gonna have to make a unanimous agreement on this or not, because you know it, the w one thing is gonna lead to one conclusion. Okay, your tower's fine, Red. No, 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 I've, no, no, I've no, said no, no, your no, no, tower no. is yours. Capital city, Zam. Hold up. Okay. Notice he said my tower's fine, but to be honest, I don't believe that. Even more so when here they are oppressing my friend for saying uh, your mom joke. I can't stand for this. I gotta do something. Oh, you're, you're, you're run, Woogie! Run! Run! Why are you in a boat, Woogie? Get, <laughs> get out! Get out! Get out, Woogie! Stop! Get out! Dude. Red, you're selling. Red, you're selling the bag. Red, you're selling the bag. Red, what does this mean for you? 
what this means, like definition. Um, you know, if you wait, wait, I don't think I like your empire, Zam. What the hell? Why would you break that? that? Hey! Capital city is its own establishment. Love See, Bible. Zam, you're really trying to ruin that, man. We had such a good thing going. And then nothing. Yeah, well, you want to like be independent or something. <laughs> Yeah, Thank you. Oh, Just let me rule you. Zero so evidence. You take your swords away. Or? My sword is away. I'm a very peaceful ruler. Yeah. What are you, bombs? Okay, things are getting way out of hand. This was about to turn into a full brink on war. Besides, I got things to do. So just to de-escalate the situation, I asked Woogie to apologize. I'm I'm sorry about the joke against your mom. Yeah. Okay. Mom We're doing all right. Let's just act like this never happened, all right? Okay. See, that 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 was my plan. But legit, not even two minutes later, I turn around and see two player names going inside my tower. What are y'all doing? Nothing. Do you want to go in and see what they're doing? Yeah. Let's go up there, see what they're doing. If they're doing anything bad, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna murder them. Alright. Alright, okay, they're both going up. All three of them. Oh, I think. Okay, they what blew it up. Get them, get them. I, I almost got him. I was almost got him. Got him. You know what? No, this is war. This is war. This is war. We're inside. I'm, I'm next to the zoo. What? I'm next to the zoo. We're at the uh, Empire going through the tunnel right now. There's Void down here, isn't there? Okay. okay. He's having <laughs> a bad time in here. He's having <laughs> a bad time. How many, how many oh, years? shoot. You dropped his sword, bro. <laughs> I dropped my sword. Okay, I called it something. Did he grab it? You got it. Wait, where are you guys right now? I'm trying to cut you. Uh, we're, uh, we're in Zan's right his... Empire. Right in Zan's yeah, right Empire. Empire. Right, yeah, boost definitely. me. Yep. Okay, I'll boost you. Oh, oh dang. <laughs> that was actually, that was actually was so cool. I'll, <laughs> I'll cut him off to the right. I called it on my sword back. Yeah, you get your Obviously, sword back, but I want to kill him. He's one, he's one. Bye, he's Sam. I think, he, I think he hit a gap, so he's probably a little bit. He's below? Yeah. <laughs> he TNT micro himself. Okay, most people would probably be satisfied with a simple kill and end it there. But this was just the beginning. Zam thought he could play the Game of Thrones with no opposition and win? Wrong. Thus, today marks the first day of the rebellion against Zam's empire. But if we want to turn this into a rebellion with a fighting chance, we'd have to grow in numbers. And thus, I've already set my eyes out on the next potential recruit. Clown Pierce. While Woogie and I had our own dispute against Zam and Pangy, so did Clown. He's been so fed up with the wall that he actually challenged Zam and Pangy to a duel. And with that in mind, my comrades and I devised a plan. So we're gonna go in while they fight, we're gonna target Zam and Pangy, and then if we kill them and Clown is still there, we'll go for Clown. We should all okay. just target one player, like Pangy or Zam. Oh, they're about to fight. It's fine, I'm clutch, don't okay, shoot me. You know what? I'll just show up a bit late to the party. Oh, they're attacking Clown. Yeah, he is. Focus black shields. Just, just black uh, shields. Behind the zoo, oh, behind okay. the zoo. We're at the zoo, we're at the zoo. Go, go right, right behind the zoo. They know who's We're oh, not okay. fighting Clown. Clown is chilling. Oh, no, no, no. Yep. We're doing that. You're doing that. You're right. Oh, that's so funny. We I made. need fire eyes. We're doing this. He's with fire eyes behind. Uh, I don't have fire eyes. They're running to the empire. Wait. They're running to the empire. Okay, okay. I'm not scared. What if they start fighting? <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, I'm gonna pro with you, Clutch. Oh, they just pro, they just pro, they just pro again. He pro he's in the farm, he's in the farm, he's no, in the cage. Oh, water. no, he pro again. <laughs> we just rallied on top of Clown. <laughs> oh, this is so <laughs> sad, bro. <laughs> okay, let's face it, it was a 5v2. Zam and Pangy didn't stand a fighting chance, so obviously they fled, as expected. But like I said, my intention wasn't to kill them. You see, it was to get in contact with Clown Pierce. Hi, hey, Clown. Hi, hey, Clown. Hey, what was that all about? Oh, clown. Most of us have a vendetta against the wall, Pinky and Zam. Oh, I absolutely uh, agree. I absolutely agree. But I'm sure. just I'm just a grateful guy. In I, general. I'm glad you are. You know, we, we've had a lot of ups and downs in our relationship, but I'm happy we're on good terms now. Yeah. Okay, casual side note. I was getting on to grind for a bit, but when I looked over my tower, bam! Half of it's been blown up. Okay, I'm not gonna point any fingers, but I have a slight feeling Zam's doing this. But just in case, I built it back with Obsidian. Since more people are joining the rebellion to resist Zam's expansion, odds are the war will be over before we know it. Plot twist, the war was not over before we knew it. In fact, the entire war was put to a halt because of a little thing called the cleansing. Now, I've already told you the tale of the great cleansing, but the aftermath was that I made a lot of enemies since I escaped unfazed, while Zam cemented himself as a benevolent leader by donating his hearts to the less fortunate. Get your How about we just hearts. cleanse Radunes? If he doesn't hand over nine of his hearts, we just yeah, put him on the yeah. Let's take no, down no, the no, wall and hear me in the first second, right? so Guys, let's steal Sokin. Let's steal Sokin. Let's steal Sokin. Okay, bye wall. Bye Capital City. Can I be the ruler of Spawn now? Can I own Spawn now, guys? That'd be really cool. And just like that, Capital City was no more. After Zam and the others took down the walls, it was merged into Zam's territory. The worst part being that nobody stopped him. Instead, they gracefully helped him 
ruin my kingdom. See, this part of the story where I'm supposed to return to spawn, taking them all on in combat, crushing them with a single blow, saving the day, ending tyranny. Nope, none of that happened. Besides, if everyone was on his side, then th that's it. it. It's over. If that's what the server wanted, I guess... It's best I retire. However, contrary to popular belief, it seems that Zam's empire wasn't only rainbows and sunshine. According to the other players, he's become drunkenly mad with power, implementing more unfair laws, claiming more land, and even going as far as stealing other people's properties. It became pretty evident that Zam's good side was just a facade to the tyranny that's been going on, which I've been trying to tell people about, but nobody freaking listens! In the end, I guess the good side is people eventually caught on, and now we're asking for my advice to confront Zam. We the people want to have a meeting to discuss politics. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of okay. two-sided, right? Because I don't like the fact he kind of took down Capital City walls. Capital City was mine. He's anti his walls. I'm anti yeah. their walls, but I'm not anti mine. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna get back to the, uh, the wall. That meeting should be pretty cool. Yeah, it's been like 20 minutes. No idea what went down in that meeting, but as soon as it was over, I got a ping in the Discord, and look at this. On Friday night, I want to have a huge fight between those that support the walls and the Zam Empire. Show up at the castle at spawn on Friday. Oh, but that's not all. See, down below, there's a little explanation of the wager. If Zam wins, obviously, the walls are permanently cemented into land. However, if Zam loses a fight, the walls are torn down, and he will ban himself off the server permanently. So, I'm just gonna assume that Zam didn't take that confrontation very well. Oh uh, great, now Zam's in my DMs asking me to get back on. I, I don't know if I have any choice in this matter, I think I just gotta show up. Oh, hi Red! Hey! Hello. Uh, why are you anti-walls? Well, let's put it like this, let's do a bit of reverse therapeutic discussion. Why are you in favor of the walls? Um, because they help keep spawn clean. Like, if this wall wasn't here, right, you'd be able to look out there and you'd be able to see so much stuff that you wouldn't want to, such as boom, wither explosion, boom, wither explosion, boom, wither explosion, boom, wither explosion. I think it adds explosion. character. I don't. If you're all for walls, why'd you remove the walls to Capital City? Um, because those are walls that mean something else, and what, they're what do weird, they mean? and I don't like walls that mean what, something what, else. What do you mean? Because they're There's... supposed to define your ownership of land. You realize Spoke was entirely for, like, blowing y'all up as well, until, like, Yeah, but know... then he had a change of heart, because he's a good guy, and he's my friend. I had a change of heart during the cleansing, but I didn't get a second chance. You did for me, but then no one else believed in it, so yeah, so that's why I wanted pressured. to have this meeting. This is your second chance, and then you're all like, no, I don't I want to talk to you. I don't want to have the meeting. We're, we're literally talking right now. Okay, so why, can, why, why, why couldn't we like come meet to up here? Just come to the meeting room. Come to the meeting room. Come to the meeting room. I don't feel comfortable. Video. Let's go into Sock Inc. Okay. All right. Fine. Listen. Okay. You're well, wrong. I'm right. I, I don't like being owned by other people, Sam. And as soon as you're not you owned guys, by me, you guys have said multiple times you guys own Capital City. You remember how, why because we had this whole conflict where we Capital fought each City other? Capital City doesn't exist. I don't even know what Capital City is. Can you explain? Because you guys kind of broke all the freaking like Capital walls, City man. does not exist. We literally fought for Capital City together at the start of the server, man. And then I became a member of Sock Inc. And then when I built the walls, I was like, yeah, Sock Inc. and the walls together. We're like a team. We're together. And then Woogie was like, no, we are enemies. And then you were like siding with Woogie instead of us. So then we had a huge fight and then I Dude, blew myself up. Woogie made a your mom joke. You guys got insulted. And then I, I, mean, I, I told him to- Making fun of Pangy's mom is really mean. You know he's my best friend, right? Dude, I told him to apologize for that. I, you, you and then confirm. he didn't, he never did. Yeah, he did. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, he did. I didn't. I'm, I'm sorry about the joke against your mom. Yeah. Okay. You've been calling me evil. You've been like saying that you Capital City doesn't- I'm not wrong. There you are I'm done trying to reason with the bad guy. I'm trying to make my points and you don't even listen, man. You're calling me evil? Yeah, man, well, I'm just unheard. That's, if I talk to you again before Friday, then I will talk to you again before Friday. Goodbye, Redunes. All right. <laughs> what the f So everything was resolved on that day that I was talking about. Um, where Woogie was, he, he did say sorry, but then I tried blowing them up. So maybe I am wrong. So I didn't even realize this till afterwards, but the entire time he'd been streaming the meeting. The whole point was for him to make me look like a bad guy in front of everybody. No wonder he was pinning me as an evil guy. He was just trying to justify himself as a good guy. But this was all excellent for me. The world now sees Zam for who he truly was. I mean, it should be pretty easy to convince people that his reign should end. I mean, after all, this was a fight against tyranny. So we've been able to rally a solid force to our cause, at least to stand a fight. But still, it may not be enough. From days of preparation, the hours 
was upon us. You gotta realize that the stakes at hand were insane. If we lose this fight, the walls would be permanently secured and Zam's reign will press on. And as it stands, the odds were barely 50-50, mainly going in Zam's favor. While we had scraped together a few people that despised the walls, Zam had battle-hardened cleansers. I'm not gonna lie, there's a pretty good chance I died today. Okay, um, I'm nervous. Um, how are you guys doing today? I hope I'm everyone's good. doing well. You know, I wanted to gather you guys so I could reason with you a bit. Like, spawn has become a lot better ever since I built these walls. I have no idea if that's enough to sway any of you over, but, you know, there's a possibility. You can just switch sides right now if you'd like to. So, I've been thinking this is nothing mm -hmm. against anybody on that other team, but these people, Pangi, Zam, they've oh. done a lot more for me than I've done for them. And I think the least I can do is help you guys in battle. So I'm Yo. sorry, Clown. That was, Thank you, Parrot. That, was, that was very kind. Thank you, Parrot. Hi. So I realized I think I'm going to switch sides. And uh, Zam, if you'll take me, I, I want to join your side. I'm switching to... Oh. I'm all about everyone being equal on the server, but I don't want it to appear as us being equal. Uh, Red wants to hit one stage. Well, Red okay. Stage. No, I don't want Red to talk. He's gonna like beat me up and stuff verbally. I don't want that, please. All right, finally. Oh, no. <laughs> oh god, it's over for me. Okay. It's over for me. All right. It's over. <laughs> okay. This man, ladies and gentlemen, our side, that, we're not oh. against the walls. <laughs> We're just against the crown. I, I, like, I'm just saying, the rest of y'all that are siding with Zim, are y'all sure you'll want to do that? I'm gonna I'm be real. I agree with your reasoning to an extent that like Zam's name shouldn't be at the front of everything. If Zam loses this, he gets banned off the server and that's what I'm fighting for. So you're you're just doing this because Zam said he was gonna kill himself a bunch? Oh my God. Is that no, really, no, listen, is that listen, really where you take his side? Bad, but, Are you no, really like, just, I oh, oh no. For winning. Oh, no. That's just the reward for winning. <laughs> but I'm questioning all the people that are siding with you because you're literally gaslighting them. They all disagree with your policy anyways. It's just because you're threatening to kill yourself over and over on the server and getting banned. Again, again, I don't think I'm swaying anyone else over. So. So if you're on my side, go to VC uh, one. <laughs> and it seemed that was all that need to be said. I mean, their logic was pretty twisted. People started to realize that they were in fact the bad guys. So once again, they switched back to our side. Dude, he's literally gaslighting the other people, man. <laughs> we're not gonna walk into this blind, but we're also not gonna walk into this knowing everything. I feel let's go. Oh. All right, guys, eight v eight. Here we go. Oh, oh, there are. Are. Right, <laughs> <laughs> what? Holy shit, I'm already Push low. Zam, push Zam. Everybody, everybody target Zam. Everybody on Zam. I'm on Zam right now. Pinky's Zam slow, Zam slow, Zam slow, Zam slow. Zam slow. Pinky's dead, Pinky's so dead. Where the fuck? Target Pinky, target Pinky. Guys, the entire thing is tired. Clutch, where are you? Clutch, where are you? I'm literally. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Nice. They're all coming back. They're all coming back. Yeah. How many hearts do you have, my thousand? Uh, 12. Back to that time, back to that time. Dude, they literally body? all tried to quick drop me, oh my lord. Got him! Yeah! <laughs> oh, good job. Nice. Dude. Yeah. Oh, I got the pingies over there, gear lace. That's Red so Crab's using TNT minecarts. Oh, he gapped. He He's gapped. gapping again. He's chugging him. Oh, oh, snap. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Yes! yes! Yo, 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 make make. Yo, make make. Yo, make make. Yo, make yo, make Someone, someone, someone come with me. We're all gonna target him. How much on him? With you, Goodbye, Pangy! Ha ha! Last pearl, last pearl, nice. last pearl. Nice. Oh, you got him. Down with the empire! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! We did it! <laughs> that was a We did it! Empire. <laughs> That was a wait, 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 was that the end of the fight? Boys, boys, it's time flag. we burn this flag. Burn the flag! Burn the flag! Burn the flag? <laughs> Alright, boys. Back to the stage. Woogie. Let's hear him out. Who wants to be the executioner? Raise your hand. <laughs> Alright, Red can do that, yeah. Red be the speed. Red be the executioner. I I'm kinda sad this is happening, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sad this is happening too, but I mean the terms are the terms, man. You were my opponent throughout all of this, so Z yeah, no, terrain, Zam, I don't care if you're Zam, part of my armor set. Although this has been very cringe to say a long a lot of time. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna say it. <laughs> the fight was an honor. <laughs> Goodbye, it Zim. Was. Thank you. No 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 wait. Not yet, well, man. You, Too late. You just ruined the whole scene. <laughs> you just ruined the whole scene. Well, you just I ruined, ruined it. the entire thing. It's gone. Yeah, right. it's, it's gone. gone. Everybody's <laughs> leaving. Everyone's leaving the stream. It's gone. <laughs> it's been it's been an honor, you know, being the tyrant ruler, you could say. I don't know. I, I wouldn't consider myself a tyrant. I was pretty nice. No, I like fixed creeper holes and stuff. 
that was my entire campaign. Bad. Anyways, um, I bro, stop, please, guys, <laughs> guys, let's try to behave for one day. Uh, Red, when, whenever you're ready. You sure you want this? Yeah, After this is this is what I want. If the empire can't stand, neither can I. Oh, okay. There it is. Bye, Zam. Bye, guys. That was anticlimactic. The tyrant Prince Zam was finally gone, even though nobody necessarily asked for him to kill himself off the server. I'm just saying, like, we could have just destroyed the walls and be done. Nonetheless, things were finally going back to the way it was. Unfortunately, that wouldn't last for long. I, I felt like it was about time to start restoring spawn in Capital City, but I've been running into a slight issue. All right, so I was logging on to the server and bam. And then I try again. And then I got kicked. Help. Yeah, so I have been able to log on for a month now. And in that time, the server has gone to hell. With Zam and I both gone, an evil force led by Spoke have taken over the server. All I know is that they've been going around destroying everything I've spent the past few months fighting for them. And I literally can't do anything about it because of my connection issues. Well, actually, there is technically one small thing I could do to stop Spoke, but I don't like it. We could bring back Zam. Remember how I said when you kill someone, you steal one of their hearts? Yeah, it actually goes one step further than that. You can actually revive people too at the price of six hearts. Look, I hate Zam more than anybody. He's ruined my life. But Zam is unfortunately our last chance, okay? He can muster an army larger than anybody else. If we were gonna stop Spoke from ravaging the land, we needed all the help we could get. All right, bring him back. All right, all right, I'm reviving Zam. All right. He's been revived. So bringing back Zam actually didn't change much. Not even kidding, Spoke foresaw exactly what we were planning and spawn trapped Zam the second he was revived. Only by some luck he got out of there with one heart. After that, the entire resistance force was just taking L after L. Spoke's side has been taking so many dubs that they are now averaging 20 hearts across the board while ours, not even 10. And with Zam so low on hearts, I tried to get on and give them another 10 to help the cause. But as soon as I was able to log in, Spoke and the others were there waiting for me as well. Reddins joins! I see him! He's, he's at spawn! I'm heading east. I see a spiral. Uh, yeah, you yeah, see him, right you see him, he's right there, invis. Of course, of course, of course. I look, okay. Uh, Ocean, uh, negative 300, negative 800. You actually want to talk? Or you just yeah, 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 we do want to talk, we do want to talk. Spoke, why are we sneaking up on me? What's going on? We need you not to give those hearts to them, okay? I have no idea what you're talking about. The thing is, the thing is, mm. they want this world to continue. I, I think they're afraid of the change, but the only thing that we would require of you is to not give them the aid that they so desperately want. To be fair, it seemed like a pretty solid deal. All I had to do was not get involved and I'd be exempted from the purge. Kinda seems like a win-win, to be honest. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Without my aid, the resistance last stand was doomed. Following our truce, Spoke gave Zam and the others one last ultimatum to give up peacefully or be slaughtered. And unfortunately, that may be the outcome if the resistance don't get my hearts. You remember Capital City? You remember when we fought for Capital City? Please, you never cared about that. You only cared about your empire. And here I was going to give Woogie literally all my wealth that I've grinded up this entire SMP. Okay, but instead of giving things up, why don't you fight with us? Dude, I've wanted to, but my connection issues, man. Yeah, but now the connection error is gone. How come you aren't helping us, please, man? Yeah, you know what? Screw my agreement with Clown and Spoke. I don't want to be a loser. I got to help these guys out. I grabbed everything, every emerald, every armor piece, every shulker of gear, and every valuable position I own and made my way to help Zam one last time. Just do a bit of calculation. You'll find it. Oh, found it. Oh, wait, really? Yep, we yeah. found it. Wait, I hold up. It. Dude, I was here as well. Yeah, this was, I went here on my way back. <gasps> Richards! Hola. Hi. So I gave Zam all but two of my hearts, hoping they'd be the very salvation that they needed. Now it's in the hands of the resistance to make do with what they got and see if they're able to turn this doomsday around. Hello? Hola. Bro, did y'all drain? Yes, so much. Oh my god, we got so many hearts. <laughs> oh, sweet. I, I am quite content with the journey I've had on Life Steel Season 3. So if I die today, it, as cringe as it sounds, I, I'm ready. Wait, which way is the end? Uh, the end. Never mind, I'm not ready, I'm not ready! Guys, I'm gonna log off until you guys come to the base because there's skeletons in there. <laughs> I'm logging back in. <sighs> right here. Hello. Are you supposed to be a normal person? No, 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 hold on, no, please don't have me. Hello. Please don't have me. Hold on. Uh, the 
What? The problem's back. Not like this! No. Not like this! No, please! God! Give me one last chance to redeem myself. Yeah, I was getting pretty desperate, especially with the war taking place in like 15 minutes. I read on some website that changing IP connection via a VPN is actually a potential fix. So with the world at stake, I caved in and made the ultimate decision. I bought NordVPN. No, no, hold on. No, please don't have Hello. Please don't have me. Hold on. I'm back, no! baby! <laughs> my boy. I need to get a sponsorship with NordVPN for this video. NordVPN saved me. I love the fact that I could have just bought a VPN a month ago and probably none of this would have ever happened. Side note, unfortunately, I'm also way too lazy to arrange a sponsorship with NordVPN. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'm also losing a lot of money right now. So be very much appreciated. I don't want to be like stream slapping, but my whole chat is currently going crazy about Woogie. And I'm what trying to Woogie? ignore it, but okay. I can't. They're currently all saying that he's going to betray me. No, Wiggy's no, 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 been our boy from I day one. This from this, th knowing there's a chance that Wiggy snitched out the location to the enemies, we grabbed all we could and ditched for the portal. But as we got there, Clown was waiting for us. Damn. Wait, where's Clown Pros? 20 seconds. Seems like we got ourselves a showdown. <laughs> what is he? Alright. I'm coming, I'm coming to save the day. I'm coming. To <laughs> everyone, everyone needs to set their spawn somewhere else. Right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Just hold off for a bit, way. please. Me and Pengi are on our way. You guys are on your way, just are go to the I'm end. I'm here, I'm, I'm here, I'm literally here. No, 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 We're if we go to the uh, yeah. is our beds yeah. trapped? Know, are our beds trapped? Oh, oh my god. god. Just, Red, I'm, I'm, just, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up. Be low. careful, okay, come on. Yeah, I'm out of cobwebs. Oh crap, okay. Oh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, Clown's pulling back, let's zip. Oh, he's going to the base, he's going to the base. Oh, Clown is is going up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're chasing, we're chasing, we're chasing. Bruh. I'm coming up, boys. I'm on my way to help. Yeah, we got a gun. Don't make oh, a Don't make a We can't let him leave. Uh, guys, where, where'd you guys go? He's Come on, guys, going down this. this cave. Thank God. Wait, does he have the careful. crystal? Oh, what? Oh, I barely saw that. He had a massive trap set up right by our base. So they, oh, my so they, goodness. Uh, oh, no. That was scary. Wait, oh, there's another no. trap. There's another one. There's another one. There's another spawn one. Trap? So all this time we've been praying for a huge war when in reality it was quite the contrary. With Woogie betraying us, their plan was to send in Clown to pick us off individually, while Woogie would sneak in, break our bed, so that when we respawn, we'd go back to the center of the world where the, the rest of Spoke's team was ready to ban us off for good. And unfortunately, they'd already gotten done. Dude, we gotta get to spawn and rescue him. Okay, you guys keep going. Right. I'm gonna go save Don. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna like trail behind him in a boat. Can no, I, no, no, it's fine. I, I'll go alone. I'll go alone. Okay, fine. Red can come with me. Me and Red. Yeah. Oh, for God's so sake, and there's so Why is Ro just standing there? Fuck! Yeah, Ro's not on our side. I hate walking, my god! Oh my god. Well, damn. No matter the outcome, the fight will be an honor. I'm walking into the valley of death with a smile on my face. I'm ready, God! I'm ready! Ah! I'm on 27,000. We're heading towards I'm on 6. Uh, hey, also, Rock, congrats on a million. They got crystals! Boys, yeah, so, yeah, come to spawn! Now, we right. need you! <laughs> Go to the water, Red. Just run. Just run. I'll hold the, I'll, I'm holding Spoke up. Come on. Uh, I hate it. I'm useless right now. Probably take him in a water fight. I'm on my last gap. God Literally. damn it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Spoke's leaving me. <laughs> you can't! I can- No, I can get, get the dolphin. Come on, where are you? <laughs> I'm outside Rex, like old base on the water. Okay, I'm gonna All get right. a dolphin. We're gonna get out of here, okay? Come back here! I can't find- there's like zero dolphins in this water! Bro, they turned off dolphin spawns or something, what the hell? You Rochambeau! Yeah, healing pots? No. You! <laughs> I found a dolphin, I found a dolphin! Red, where are you? Negative 145, 380. I didn't get the dolphin. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, there we go! We're going! Let's go! We're, going. We're, out of here. We're out of here! But we couldn't leave our teammates behind. See, the whole point is that we fight once and for all, for all of life seal. If even some of us fall, there is no point. We have to go back. And we, I don't want to fight you guys. Like, we can all go out together. Like, like the end of season two. If we all do it together, I'll be okay with it. Okay. No, no, That's no, my no, deal. no, no. This is not what I fought for. It's the only you're way right. to get no, back. No, you're right. No, 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 no. People have sacrificed their hearts. People have sacrificed everything for us, okay? Right and if I were to turn my back on them now. As hard as this is to hear, it doesn't mean anything because there's physically no way to revive them now enough talking let's just end this one way or another i'll, I'll kill you if <laughs> i have one i don't want to go to the afterlife yet i just yep. see what? get me out of this box <laughs> pick me up from school i want to go home we're at true spawn right now yeah, i kind of just killed myself can you honest. help me you help hey Wait, what how about we have what? like a little bit of a truce Red. <laughs> yeah 
I died, which was actually part of the plan. You see, I set my bed elsewhere, meaning I was actually safe from the spawn trapping. So if I were to go in there guns and blazing and distract all of them, it would possibly give Zam enough time to break our team out, or maybe not. We didn't really consider this when we were rescuing our team, but it seems they may have captured Zam now, preparing to ban him off as well. At this point, I'd basically given up. With most of our team spawn trapped, I actually really thought it over, but at the last minute, Woogie out of nowhere decided to flip back to our side and ate us one last time, helping our team escape the spawn trap to then rendezvous and counterattack one last time. Should we just try and VC with them and talk it out? Mm, I don't think that'll work, I'm gonna be honest. Nah, they're, they're, they're on Kool-Aid mode, okay? They don't, well, we, they don't want to What are we gonna reset. do? Here, hold on, I'll tell them. Yeah, that's one. I spoke. Uh, I spoke. I spoke. I spoke. Finally gonna talk sense. All right, we have one term. You gotta <laughs> surrender right now. Yes, you can live out your life on this server, like do whatever, but Zam's not gonna be here with you guys. You'll be here in spirit. I know how life still works now. I know why you guys kept fighting. I know why you guys didn't quit. It's so that you guys would not. win. You don't want to take a not. loss. And I understand that. If you're this dead ass serious about like moving on, how about you be the first one to go down the void and lose, like just revoke all your arts. Go right now. No? I agree. Okay. okay. I'm going right now. now. All right. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be waiting here. Just, I want to see y'all jump in. There are you. Hello. I want you to drop the 19 hearts or however many hearts you have, right? And I want you to jump in and prove yourself and the point you're trying to make right now, right here. Line up with me. I want everyone who's ready to right. join me with our fellow friends. Oh, Parrot Parrot's also here. Are y'all actually jumping? This Are we is, actually doing this? We're jumping. Hey, we're I guess. This is everything I could have asked for. I'm at one heart. Oh, no, but Rudeans, it would be a pleasure to you know go out with you. <laughs> well, what is the point of living if you can't die with someone else, huh? I mean, season two ended with me jumping to my death. Today, I am <laughs> jumping <laughs> with the rest of Lifesteal. I think it's time. Yeah, is it time? All right. yeah, I'm ready. Oh, well, guess I'll see you guys in season four. All right, boys. We are life. We're life still. We are life still. We are life still. Season four, baby. Season four, season four baby. baby. For the first time in almost a year, the server was finally at peace. A year's worth of constant war, deception, and betrayal was finally put to an end. And although my lands were lost, I kind of began getting clarity that what made those lands so special it was the friends and memories that were created there. And going out with my friends was honestly. All that ever mattered. Yeah, you know what? Scratch all that. What if I told you I never actually died? Yeah, that whole gathering to the void was just a wholesome moment packaged up as a stunt. But imagine how hilarious it would be to see them all willingly throw away all their hearts and jump in a hole not realizing I never removed mine. And the greatest part of it all is now I got Capital City, Spawn, and the entire server to myself. <laughs>